Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in Part 1. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played Part 1 don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, come on. A little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? Huh. Au contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Yes, of course. I... I, I um... Go ahead. Talk to me. Just point the cursor at me and left click as soon as the speech balloon icon appears. No prompting! Uh, talk to... Bozo! You don't have to say that aloud. Hey, who's talking to you? Hello there. You clicked on me. Yeah, and I regret it already. But you see, there's nothing left here that you could teach me. You don't even know, um... How to talk to somebody. But you just did that. You left-clicked when the speech balloon appeared on the cursor. Are you sure? Wasn't it perhaps the insanely handsome Rufus head icon? No, the speech balloon. The head icon is only used for eating, drinking, and putting on garments. Which really should happen more often. But now, let's come to the all-important question of... How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? I point at it with my mouse cursor and right-click when the eye icon appears. Nonsense! That's not an eye. It's a ping-pong ball. With a pupil? Yeah, it's loaded. Why would they use a loaded ping-pong ball as an icon for the action examine? I'm about to demonstrate that using the small object lying on the ground over there by pointing the cursor at it and right-clicking as soon as the ping-pong ball appears. I'm holding my breath. I thought you were going to look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I meant look at it more closely. Just point at it and right-click when you see the eye on the cursor. I thought you were going to... I can see it. I meant just when you see... What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head. Believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Sure you can pick it up. Just point at it with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click to pick it up. Oh no, this has to be easier. <sighs> huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. You pick the thing up. Now use the mouse wheel to open the inventory. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. When you're ready, you need to. No prompting! Whatever. <laughs> it fits. Next you need to. Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. When you're ready, you need to. Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't. You're standing right under the- Don't panic. You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then...
Didn't look all that feeble to me. They came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the Lower Ascension Station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiance, wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon, and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Code hidden away in Gold's brain implant, and they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was... Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. You're being pathetic. Began about accurate bacteria in the fridge, it's getting boring. But packing bags due to that he sucks ice through to clamshades rim borders on anodons gone. Then I explicated, are you still not persuaded? The scratch growing on your time panic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh, not to start all over again. To start all over again. Trash. Trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... 
How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. I hope your young friend doesn't get too close to my John Thomas. The poor thing is so small and fragile. Don't worry. The Rufus I know loves animals. He wouldn't harm the pretty little head of your John Thomas. Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus? Brutal? <laughs> Never. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Did he even wash his hands? Of course he did. Rufus is very clean. That's good. I have a very limited supply of water. All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. And if he has to use the toilet, then he can do that on the trawler. Of course, Grandma. It's just that I have hardly any water left. He's just getting a hammer. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. What if he suddenly blows a fuse? Believe me, those days are over. And he shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink, under any circumstances. Well, if that's all you're worried about... Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? Can a person really change so much? It's very simple. Once burned, twice shy. And Rufus has burned his fingers more than once. He has learned. I would <laughs> bet the house on it. Well, I still have my doubts. That Rufus looks to me like an arsonist. 
You know what they say, no doubt burns so hot that it can't be extinguished with a wet tablecloth. But my tablecloth is as dry as a bone. It would set the whole place on fire in the blink of an eye. Oh, Grandma, that's just a saying. No one here is going to set anything on fire. You almost have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp, things are always getting caught in there. Oh, Grandma, you worry about the silliest things. If you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is gonna work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Doc. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And whoop. Oof, perfect body control, as always. Maybe I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> that tickles. With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Easy and totally realistic. If the black powder reaches the flames, it could ignite the gas. And then, mm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, it worked! I saved Doc! <laughs> Oh, no, I'm
bungkus Pedas Bungkus Hei Ho 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 Tan 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 Rufus, Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Gole and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Gole convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponia. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gore. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. Now, remember, he's lied to you before. The goal that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of goal. The part that is naive and idealistic. The goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help Goal, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for Goal. That looks like an injector seat. Huh, there's still dust on the label. A shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an injector seat. Wait, there's more dust. Awesome! A bear! That's my favorite so far! Huh, must be the ejector seat after all. I'm what's best for goal! No, don't! Ha! Huh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! No, goal! You idiot! Goal! No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic! I'll get you! Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gore! Hang in there! Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way! Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus, no! Cletus! Ah! 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 Oh dear, what have I done? Ah! I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect... Ah! Rufus? Rufus. Ouch.
Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We could start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailey. Stop interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him, but as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? The most epic tales feature cruel depictions of saw blades crushed into cable board walls. The attempt is all blunt stunned, affected goals and planned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll send him to attend a second chance for a decent happy ending. The grand fling was dancing and boots and so forth. with boots and so forth. I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. Good morning, Lazy Bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well. Yada, yada, yada. Blood from her ears. Blah, blah, blah. You can find me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, there's something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Blah! Slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait! What's this? Hey, that's my old anchovy bait. It's still good! Ah, the floating black market is in the middle of the Rust Red Sea, far from the cruiser routes of the Organon. That's good. I can't leave here, not without goal. Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh! You're scaring the fish! Ugh, rotten fish. Close enough. But this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me, Rufus, where I find lab, belong to Doc. 
Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just shooting it a contemptuous glance. Oh, Doc's office is in the industrial park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first then. So much wonderful potential for a festive, all-consuming fire. What an ugly mess. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. According to the delivery note, the crate contains a replacement airbag for the canal gondolas. White, of all things, the wet blanket among colors. <gasps> what a cute little doggy you are! I beg your pardon? My name is Cleverbite. I'm an autonomous, cybernetically highly developed service unit, programmed to perform complex security tasks. Cleverbite! Oh, such an amusing name for a robodog. I will not suffer such indignities. Through the neuronal connection of computer circuits with organic cerebral matter, I am capable of processing more than 3,000 floating point operations per second. Can you sit up and beg? Perhaps not. But I could sit up and grab something until you beg me to let go. You know, you've got quite an attitude for a cyber whatever mongrel, but I'm pretty sure that your bark is worse than your bite. Do you hear me barking then? Uh, I don't know. All I can hear is I'll ask Doc to make you a cyber muzzle. To do that, you would need to get past me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to allow some stupid mutt to block my path. Actually, I'm a superior cybernetic. Let me show you who is superior here. Down. I am not sure I have comprehended your intention. That's because you're only a silly dog. It might help if you could talk in complete sentences. Down, boy! Bravo! With a little more effort, you might indeed be capable of forming an entire sentence. Ha! Piece of cake! <laughs> I hereby demand that you perform the act of down. <laughs> Good boy. But I'm still not sure what you're really trying to tell me. <laughs> well, down, down, see? <laughs> like this. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. Let me through. I have to see Doc. Oh, but I can't do that. If I let you through, my designation as a watchdog would be completely compromised. And if you don't, you'll be completely compressed. I think you're forgetting who's the superior species here. Then why don't you simply show me? <laughs> Will you please let me in? Hmm, that sounds better already. But I didn't quite get the third word you said. Please. Talk directly into the audio interface. If you insist. Please, 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 please! <laughs> stop it! Oh, please, stop! You're overloading my circuits! <laughs> uh. 
Who's a good robot dog? Hmm. I need to think about that one. Hmm. Your mother, perhaps? What? Oh, you rotten! <laughs>
Goal really almost bought it this time. But as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll uh, go look for Bozo then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character. The ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Goal? Goal! She can't hear you, Rufus. No problem. I know what to do. All I need is battery acid, gunpowder, bull's blood. Or you can simply bring me the cartridges as I asked you to do. We'll see. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. <clears throat> Chew first. That was a reminder that you are not to poke around in my things. Okay, reminder heard and ignored. Rufus? It's okay. Hey, you. Who? Me? No, we're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh, yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. You spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh man, that was a lousy Easter. I uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end.
And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait. Let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! He hasn't got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh. Oh. Lots of friendly people here. Oh. Maybe I should tone it down a bit. Yoo-hoo! Scram! You're scaring the fish! Uh, but... Shoot! I don't want that. That's really small bait. Nothing like my epic whale bait, made from phosphorescent anchovies. I can transport that without a bucket, too. I like the feeling when it bounces back and forth, loose in my pants. What an ugly nest. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their room. Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh man, that was a lousy Easter. Stronzo! you matto! Making a poof with my new sacco di aria! Now I must go to Indoco to get the replacement! <laughs> that was funny. These foreign models are just pieces of junk. Something's always breaking down. This isn't a trash burning engine. Is that supposed to be a razor fish? To me, it looks more like a sword. <laughs> well, look at that ugly bastard in his gondola. If that isn't Poke, it's just a gondolier. But he's voiced by me. Yep, that's the character I get to play. Very Hitchcock-esque, how I wrote myself into the game there. Um, yeah, I'm quite the attention whore. In fact, uh, the concept of the Pony yeah, was the first one of our games where I said, I think I really would like to uh, sing in the game. After all, it's a game about complete egomaniac. So it's totally fair game if I, as an equally complete egomaniac, get to sing in it. And uh, I'm not only performing here, but also as the hobo, as he's called in the English magazines. I don't even know if we gave, ever gave him a name in the English translation. Yeah, I guess they made that up on their own, calling him a hobo, I mean. The narrator, the bard, telling the story from the sidelines. But here I got my second gig, looking suspiciously similar to the bard, the hobo. This time uh, as a gondolier, the Italian variant, so to speak. 
and accordingly I talk with a politically incorrect fake accent. I also had to sing those uh, four songs. Well, actually it's the same song, but only with different lyrics each time. Uh, and I had to sing them with this ridiculous Italian fake accent. It was great fun though. Uh, if you run your own video game company someday, you can do that as well. <laughs> uh, until then, uh, that's exclusive to me. Oops. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course, we currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. A lollipop? So which brand do you prefer? Um... And those are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Hmm? Ooh, oh. Ooh. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Mm, Rufus? Uh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Yes, who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé or his cheap imitation. Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. She seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What, lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of Gold? 
And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of Goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to goal. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Goal and persuade her, all three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh, I'm sure I'll remember it eventually. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah! Stick my hand in! Ow! The top prize is some fully functional torpedo equipment. Oh boy, just what I've always wanted. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck. All you need is an infallible system. Huh, the lotto map doesn't seem to understand my system. An excellent choice, sir. Please do not forget to return the merchandise to its proper place before leaving the store. Here goes nothing. The sunglasses of eternal darkness. Looks like normal sunglasses, just that the lenses are covered in black paint. Cool. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? What kind of things do you sell here? At Gilligan's Gadget Garden, we offer the most amazing equipment in all of Deponia. Go ahead and browse at your leisure. You are welcome to try out a few gadgets. 
But please remember to put back the merchandise before you leave the shop. But of course, what do you take me for? My CPU has calculated an 86% probability of an imminent attempt at shoplifting. What? Now, now that's outrageous. Based on what? Based on several factors. The way you are dressed, for example. Are you a robot? The gadgeteer constructed me so I could help him run the shop. Smart move. Where is he now? This information is irrelevant. I am completely autonomous. I see. I wonder what became of the gadgeteer. We have no idea. We have been looking for him for months. We? Yes, we are very worried about him, his wife and I. Why is the pedestal over there empty? It is not empty. What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility, the most powerful gadget on Deponia. So, the gadgeteer is Mary? Yes, Camilla is a wonderful lady. I am with her every day, lending her support. These must be hard times for her. She should not grieve for a husband who left her in the lurch. She should just look ahead. People are so unreliable, aren't they? That is what I have been telling Camilla for months. By now she thinks I am right. Robots are so much more reliable, she says. Golden Dragon of Invisibility? It may be hard to believe, but it is really there. A beautiful object, lavishly ornamented, and its powers are beyond imagination. But touching it is absolutely prohibited. I think I can only just hold myself back. Very much appreciated. I'll just be on my way then. Please come again soon. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck. All you need is an infallible system. Huh, the lotto map doesn't seem to understand my system. I am very sorry, sir, but the floor models must not be removed from the store area under any circumstances. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahem. Uh all right, all right. What is that sheet music? Ah, la musica si fa volare. It's a una canzone molto romantica. La 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 la. Mmm, calzoni. Prego. Can't you sing something else for a change? Uh, Con piacere. Ma sfortunatamente, but it's too bad. I have just uno singolo spartito. Only one musical sheet, comprende? <laughs> Some of it. Do you really have to keep rowing through the canals and singing? Oh, cadare, merci! I needed to drive off the dam. How do you say? Boredom. Rats. Ah, well, now that makes sense. Cool gondola. Oh, you see, it's the Gabriel Molto Comfortable con tutto extra special. With all the extras? Well, what extras? Urban? 
sorry about your airbag. Uh, it's no problem. I am a social club gondola mobilistico. A member of the gondola club? Precisamente. The doctor always has a replacement for sacco di aria. Caputo. Capisce? Ah, uh, capisco. <laughs> Caputo. Hey, buddy. Uh, quit yanking my chin. What's that box? Is that your new airbag already? Uh, <laughs> Uh, fortunamente, il duck always has replacement in the stock. Do you always have to speak with that goofy accent? Yeah, you bet. If I don't, I'm probably with the Gondola Association. <laughs> I see. I don't mean to worry you, but the Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. Uh, no apprezione. Don't, don't worry. Con una bella canzone on your lips, all is gonna be ben in the end. Nothing's gonna be bene. The whole planet is gonna go kablooey. So I will sing a fina lora. La 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 la. Oh, brother. I hope they hurry up with their explosion. Arrivederci! Huh? What's that mean? Oh, nothing. Hey! Hold still! Oh, darn it. Oh, it seems to have some sort of motion sensor. What an ugly bird. Don't they have any face checks around here? May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. Didn't we meet in front of Doc's workshop? Uh, you must be mistaken. No, no. You and your beefy chum, you were gonna take something from me. What was it you were yelling? Death to the Organon? Death to the Organon! Uh, I mean, um, <laughs> death to the Organon! <laughs> Whoever would say such a thing? Not that it isn't a good slogan. I mean, someone must have put a lot of thought into that. Why are you sitting here on your lonesome? I'm waiting for a worthy opponent to play rock, paper, scissors. Why do you think you might find one here? Because people around here tend to give you the finger. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So you're a professional rock, paper, scissors player? Yeah, I'm an expert, a professional gamer, a prestidigitator. Scissors is my forte. I've been training it for years and I can do it in my sleep. But my rock really rocks too. <laughs> Once in a while, I'm still a bit hesitant to make full use of my paper. But my coach says that I can compensate for this weakness through speed and stamina. I want to play. Huh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked, they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yep, here they are. Ha ha ha, nice try, buddy. Why, what's, what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Come back when you have an official tournament hand. I'll be off then. See you around. Whew. Despite my mighty strength, I'm not going to get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. The Dead Pigeon Tango. Hi ho, hi ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. Hi dee dee do. Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap? The mating song of the junk crafts. Hey, 
hands off. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I get a pain in the neck when I look down for too long. That's one of the guys I beat up outside the city gate. I'll have to be careful. Excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like, for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. So, uh, unorganized crime, what is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'm a gifted tinkerer. Really? So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I'm very resilient. I can fall from a tower two miles high into a pile of syringes without taking any damage. Remarkable. And can you juggle balls on your nose? Oh, really? I'm a daring adventurer, not a circus ocelot. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. And I'm a good listener. You are? That sounds interesting. They call me the Ear. You know, there's this story that I've always wanted to... Eagle Ear, master of sound waves. But my story... Listening his opponents into the dust. Uh, forget it. What? Did you, did you say something? I am so incredibly cool. Just how cool? I'm so, like, laid back that the back of my head, like, is almost touching the ground. Yeah. And that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I certainly am reckless enough. No, you're not. So how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless, like shave Donna's cat, for instance. If that's all. Uh. That wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right m I, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. Mm, say, where's your pal? Wink, he's got our secret hideout. Even though he's not really qualified, blind as a bat in his right eye. And the right eye is the important one, after all. Huh? Who says that? My mama. Why? Uh, do you also like to play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Unfortunately, I left my tournament fingers in the hideout today. I'll get back to you. Whatever. Hello, bozo. Old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus, was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. Oh, don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus. Only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? Something went wrong with the surgery. You think so? She looks healthy to me. Well, physically, she's in great shape. Like this. Boom, chaka chaka, boom, yeah! But mentally, it's more like... <laughs> 
cuckoo. Understand? Certain people have mental problems. Yes. I understand that. Her mind has been split into three parts. Now, I have to persuade all three of them to come back to the lab for another round of surgery. Your girlfriend now exists in triplicate? <laughs> Don't stretch yourself too thin. Handling one woman's hard enough, but three at a time? I'll manage somehow. How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. Yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. Uh, listen, I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Oh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? I mean, between the two times since we've met. Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast, ye landlubbers! Yo, ho, 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 ho! Oh, well, none of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum! Arr. See you later. Don't get lost. That must be Gulliver. He looks all right to me, but he's a lousy replacement for Lonzo. She's got style. She's right for me. Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Gulliver's Gully. I'm Gulliver. If you need to use the bathroom, let me know. And I'll give you the key, the flashlight, and the wolf repellent. We assume no liability for damages caused by the peanuts on the counter. So, what can I do for you? Gulliver's Gully doesn't sound terribly inviting. My customers aren't used to being invited anywhere. Who would want to invite thieves and smugglers? Or people with infectious mouth diseases? Now, if you're looking for an inviting ambience, you better go uptown, kid. Uh, I've got a few questions regarding your regulars. Spit them out. What kind of people usually hang out here? Well, riffraff and rabble, you know, thieves, cutthroats, but the good kind. Well, it's pretty empty at the moment. Always is this time of day. Besides your people, only Nod is here now. He's with unorganized crime. I think he's here now because his brother Wink took over the first third of the preliminary five o'clock shift today. But as you can imagine, unorganized crime schedules are a little obscure. And then there's Garliff. He comes here to play. So what does he play? Rock, paper, scissors. Seriously? Your dangerous rabble plays rock, paper, scissors? Hmm, it may not sound like a game for tough men, but the stakes are high. And they play with loaded fingers. Don't you ever run into problems with the Organon? To me, it looks like everyone here is doing whatever they want. That's right. The authorities leave us alone here. Porto Fisco is far away, and the magnetic train route runs along the coast. That's how the floating black market was formed in the first place. We're always in places where the Organon doesn't look. And if I told you that it won't stay that way for long? Then I would tell you to go join Janosch and his resistance windbags. Only an idiot would believe in that conspiracy crap. Do you know Captain Bozo? Sure. He drops anchor here on a regular basis. I think he's got something going on with the owner of the weapon store in Little Venice. She won't break your heart. She'll perforate it with a repeating laser. And Bozo has a thing going with that fury? I can hardly imagine how that would work out. What can you tell me about unorganized crime? I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. They're dangerous and unpredictable. If you want to know more, go ahead and ask Nod over there. You mentioned an underground movement. What's up with that? Well, calling it an underground movement might be somewhat exaggerated. Garliff and his friends, Janos and Lebo, hold regular meetings in Janos's mother's basement. <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. It is. And the punchline is Janos, their leader. He thinks he's some sort of freedom fighter. That's it for now. Yep. That was definitely enough. 
It's pretty dark in here. Yeah, that's a good thing. Most of my regulars aren't a pretty sight. But if you think this is dark, just wait until the generator breaks down again. Does that happen often? Unfortunately, yeah. It's the salty air. Almost the same effect as sugar in the tank. Odd, isn't it? A drink, please. Have you got any money? Well, uh... I thought so. <laughs> I mean, just look at you. <sighs> Why does everybody always say that? Come back when you've got money. Transients don't get a tab here. A drink for the lady, please. No, thanks. Even if I could bring myself to drink from these filthy glasses. No comment. I would never allow the likes of you to buy me a drink. And what if I were the last man in existence? What do you mean, were? Bummer. What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, you'd better go uptown, assuming they let you in. Downtown is reserved for smugglers, fences, gamblers, and pirates. For a special thrill, I recommend watching the platypus pataka in the market arena. However, fighting only takes place when two squabblers are going after each other. Can't the jukebox play a different song for a change? What do you mean? It plays a different song all the time. Are you sure? It does sound pretty familiar, you know. Leave my jukebox alone. Nothing but classics in the playlist. My favorite is the mating song of the junk crabs, but only when the door's closed. I have enough complaints about crab bites as it is. I, uh, need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah 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 hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah 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 blah, blah. spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah blah, blah 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 blah, leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes. Who would sign this nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? Idol? No. Uh, blind. Using this bathroom is also a popular test of courage. I mean, popular with those who are named in the will. Garliff up there currently has a bet going on with his buddy, Lebo. But, uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He's still got plans. Yeah, well, I have a plan, too. I'm planning not to act like a coward. Hand me that pen. You don't have to do this. You know that, right? I've never done things I had to do. Well then, good luck. When your urge to go becomes stronger than your sense of self-preservation, you can ask Gala for the key. I'll do that. See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. The ambience is perfect. I'll have the three goals wrapped around my finger in no time. Hey, leave the candle alone. It's the only thing that provides light in here when the generator goes on the fritz. All right, Rufus. This is a routine situation for a ladies' man like yourself. Easy peasy. No reason at all to be nervous. You are eloquent and witty. Very handsome. And your hair smells of salt. Now, for the right facial expression. Here it comes. Check. Charm cannons at full blast. <laughs> and now, to come up with the best possible line. Oh, that's it. A classic. Take a deep breath, and then... <sighs> Here I go. Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? So, this is where you've been hanging out. 
Believe me, I would much rather be on the West Promenade by the Rotating Gardens. At this time of year, Morris serves the best soyacino in all of Elysium. Instead, I'm sitting in this hole in the ground drinking... What is this, anyway? Camel drool, what else? Camel drool. No, wait, the camel drool's still under the counter. What you got there is the tincture for my nail infection. Ah! Oh. Does that mean you bathed your filthy nails in this? Yeah, but go ahead and drink it. Apparently it only works on fingernails. And this is where my mechanisms of repression should be kicking in. Ah! Here they are. Are you mad at me for some reason? Whatever makes you think that? You kidnapped me, caused me a bad head injury. That's not the way I remember it. You appear to be suffering from a perception disorder. You mean, in reality, you're not sexy at all? Just stay away from me. Understood? You have to come with me and see Doc. What for? So you can demolish my head even further? Ah, really turned your head, did I? Turning heads and demolishing them are two different things. <laughs> With Tony's tortoise, they weren't. Listen, Rufus, I am dirty, my hair is a mess, and my head feels like someone sliced through my skull with a circular saw. Yes, but there's no proof. And to top it all off, I'm starving. So, you had better stay away from me. Hey, if you're hungry, I've got a leftover bowl of peanuts from our last mud cake festival. Ooh, yuck! It's growing hair! I bet this little bowl contains more killer bacteria than a biological warfare lab. Nah, we're all out of killer bacteria. These are influenza viruses. You must come with me! Something went wrong with the surgery! What do you mean, something went wrong? Well, y you know the fairy tale of, about the three bears? It was pretty much like that, just that there were no bears. And that your mind was, uh, you know, split three ways during botched brain surgery, that's all. <laughs> what? what no, 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 don't panic, I'll fix everything. Won't you please just come along? No, I'd rather starve here. Can't we speed this up a little? We both know that you can't resist me forever. I said no. And if you were a gentleman, you would know what that word means. What do I have to do to make you come along? First of all, you should look up the meaning of the word no. Yeah, all right. Let's assume I just did that. What would I have to do next? Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurants do you have in mind? And is it clean? A restaurant? I was thinking of, you know, an extra serving of peanuts. I mean, they're free, aren't they? Yeah, if you don't count the doctor's bill. Ah, great. Oh, it sounded too good to be true. Just forget it. Hey, baby. Oh, there he goes again. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? It did indeed. Oh, right. Yes, I, I can imagine. I give up. I'm afraid I already know you better than that. Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. Gulliver's peanuts are much more germy than Lonzo's. Some bacteria even come in colors I've never seen before. It looks like I finally reached civilization. First, I have to insert a cartridge. The cartridge fits! Now the remote just has to work. Thanks to my charm, the rest will be child's play.
did I wind up here? Most people ask that, but very few of them really want to hear the answer. <laughs> You're funny. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! Hey, baby. Are you talking to me? <laughs> What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? I'm naming the bugs on the counter. This is Ronnie, and this is Donny, and this is Princess Lamefoot. Why is Princess Lamefoot limping? She's unhappy because she's feeling lonely. What are you doing? Now Ronnie is Prince Lamefoot. I didn't know you were an animal lover. Yes, yes, quite. Here's looking at you, kid. Huh? Did one of your contact lenses slip? It's so dimly lit in here, I can't really see a thing. <sighs> Never mind. I give up. What are you giving up? No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So, this is where you've been hanging out. Have I? That's crazy. I can't even remember how I got here. It doesn't really matter how you got here. What's more important, I know how you can leave here. Oh, in a dirigible. Please, please tell me it's a dirigible. Uh, no, not in a dirigible. Oh. M maybe later. Yippee! You have to come with me and see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? No, you... Oh dear, I can feel it now. I think I'm running a fever. No, no, you're, you're not sick. I'm my quick Look and tell me if my uvula is swollen. Ah! Uh... Will you listen to me? You're not sick. Oh, what a relief. And here I was thinking I had to see Doc. But you, you, you do have to see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? <sighs> This is going to be one of those days. Can't you remember anything? Well, yes. You are... Rudy. Rufus. Oh, this is exhausting. My head feels as if a burning saw blade hit me in the temple. Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important for you to go see Doc. You're probably right. You're such a good friend, Rudy. <laughs> sure. So, are you coming? There's no time to lose. We need to prevent the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Well, did I hear that right? You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those resistance fruitcakes. Resistance? What are you talking about? What do you think? Janosh and his people, who else? Janosh? I told him a thousand times that I won't have any conspiratorial meetings in my bar. First, they're all death to the Organon. And then I end up having to scrape peanut chips out of the jukebox. Did you hear that, Rufus? A real resistance movement. I heard it. How terribly exciting. But the really important thing is that we're both headed to dock now. We're going to fix your brain and... We can't do that now. We need to join the resistance. I... Uh, yes. Y what? Janosh, Janosh. What's up with that Janosh? That's what I would like to know. No, that was a rhetorical question. Janosh is the leader of the resistance. You keep raving about him. Really? He must be quite a daredevil. Oh, good grief. Won't you please just come along? Where? Well, to, to Doc. Who's Doc? Say, did you fall and hit your head? I don't know. Did I? Yeah, actually, yes, I, I think so. What do I have to do to make you come along? I don't know. Can you do magic? Of course. I'm really good at making objects disappear. Oh! Um, too bad we haven't got time for that. We need to join the resistance, just like Janosch. Oh, is this really necessary? Oh, please. Oh, uh, all right. But then we'll go see Doc. Of course. A true resistance fighter will go anywhere.
Wait here, I'll be right back. Yay! Huh? What the? Where am I? Don't you know? You haven't had that much to drink. This is still Gulliver's Gully, the darkest dive in the floating black market. Floating black market? Not on Deponia. Where else? Rufus, I'll wring his neck. Everything okay? Just give me some of your strongest. As long as I'm here, I may as well rot my brain. One rust red brain death, coming right up. Hmm? You again. What do you want? Aren't you even wondering how you got here? Not really. You're in the vicinity. That should suffice as an explanation. Well, <laughs> I'm always good for a surprise. <laughs> you are basically the human equivalent of spontaneous self-combustion. Wow, thanks. Damn, that came across much too nicely. You have to come with me and see Doc. I must? I don't think so. But your health is at stake. Don't worry. I'm feeling just great. But if you don't come... Then what? Will I get bruises? Will my shoulder be dislocated? Will I get a nosebleed? No, not that. But... But you will if you keep bothering me like that. Yeah, well, bother, bother, bother. Uh, Rufus. What? what? A little friendly advice. Never provoke a woman with a temper. Believe me, I once knew a woman who... You, you stay, stay out, out of this! Of this. Uh, you two do what you want, then. Where were we? I think I was about to bring you with this bar stool. Ah, yes, great. Then let's proceed. Hey, no fighting in my bar, you hear? Yeah. Mm. So, this is where you've been hanging out. So what? Do I have to ask your leave every time I want to go somewhere? Um, yes, that would be helpful. Dream on, wimp. I don't even know myself how I got here. But since I'm here now, anyway, I might as well explore my surroundings. And by surroundings, I mean this drink. Hey, you can't do that. Calm down. It's all on Rufus today. But that was my lighter fluid. <laughs> yeah, that's how it tasted. Hit me with another. You must come with me. Something went wrong with the surgery. So what? That goes for your birth as well. Do you hear me complaining? Will you listen now? Your implant was damaged when... Meh, you're boring me. Please, go. You must come with me. Make me if you can. I'd love to see how you propose to do that, with no arms and all. I do have arms. Oh, those are arms? I thought you would drop some spaghetti on your shirt. Take a good look at them, because you won't see much of them when I spank your behind. Uh, Rufus, I don't think that's a very bright idea. <laughs> if only I had a Zloty for every time I've heard that sentence. Then maybe I could finally afford the kneecap replacement that people keep telling me I need. I just mean, uh, you've got to be careful with temperamental ladies. Or the steel plate to cover my skull fracture. Are you even listening to me? Or the tympanic membrane transplant. I give up. What do I have to do to make you come along? Uh, you could sing the dumb bum song for me. <laughs> That's a piece of cake. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. Oh yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh man, you're cracking me up. I told you that wouldn't work. But since you refused to listen to me. Hmm. If I listen to you, will you sing me the dum bum song? I don't know. How'd the lyrics go again? It's quite simple. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. Oh yeah. Dang! We have to keep the organ on from blowing up Deponia. No worries. I'm going to take care of the organ on myself. Really? And just how are you planning to do that? I'll just whoop their butts if they dare to cross me. Damn! Why didn't I think of that? Wait here. I'll be right back. No threats, please. Huh. 
Hello, bozo. Uh, Rufus, what's up? What were you gonna say earlier? Something about a very special boarding maneuver? I don't know what you're getting at. Again. Come on, you can't fool me. You pirates are all the same. A girl in every port and constantly on the lookout for new ports, right? Not in the least. Although... Ah! I knew it! My Bambina lives here, in the floating black market. But I don't think that really counts. We were only together for two days, and... Uh, and then she sent you packing? And she held a pistol to my head for the entire time. Actually, that should count. I do believe Spunky Goal likes me. Spunky Goal? Yeah, she's really something, you know? <laughs> Looks like all of her temperament wound up on one cartridge. <laughs> Whoa, then you better be careful. Believe me, I know that kind of woman. They can be quite tame and playful if you know how to handle them. But make one wrong move. Say one wrong word, and out come their claws. Heh, <laughs> you think I should buy her a scratching post? The only thing that helps is the right choice of words. It was the same with my Bambina. I only had to say the one all-important sentence, and the tigress turned into a docile kitten in one instant. Oh yeah, then why aren't you still together? Well, I got a little horse, and she made it to a rifle cabinet before I reached the door. Oh. Tell me more about your Bambina. Well, she's the most spirited woman I've ever met. She owns the weapons shop in Little Venice. She's got a killer personality, although she's never been convicted. It's been a while since I lost my heart to her. Good thing Doc happened to have a donor heart handy. I think you should pay a visit to your Bambina. What? <laughs> no way. Get it. Oh, come on. She sounds really hot. Yeah, so hot she could burn out your throat. And she would, too. What are you, a pirate or some kind of pie pan? For the umpteenth time, I'm not a pirate. And I'm also not interested in having you entangle me in all kinds of weird adventures. I like my life just fine, the way it used to be before I met you. Peace and quiet. Serenity. Raiding parties, sea battles, mutinies, slaying of the firstborn. Sunday afternoon walks, gardening exhibits. Pillaging, keel hauling, treasure hunts, walking the plank. Damn it, Rufus. Not everyone likes conflicts. I certainly don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, no, and no. Yes, 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 yes! On the contrary. On the contrary, I hate conflicts. I... Uh, okay, I give up. Ha! I knew it! You've still got a crush on her, don't you? I'm going to pay her a visit. Meet me in front of the weapons shop in Little Venice. I'm gonna need emotional support and medical assistance. Of course you will, you old swashbuckler, you. Excuse me? Hmm? You again? I would really love to join you. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I certainly am reckless enough. And no, you're not. 
What was that you wanted me to do to prove I'm reckless enough? Shave Donna's cat? No, no, no. I told you not to shave Donna's cat. That'd be extremely dangerous and stupid. Ha <laughs> ha! Danger is my middle name. And stupid is my, uh, um, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. So, what does the Organon think of your organization? This is the floating black market, kiddo. We don't care what the Organon thinks. So, what about that Organon official right behind you? What? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I would really love to join you. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. I'll get back to you. Whatever. Hi. Ah, you again. Are you finally gonna order something now? What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, you'd better go uptown, assuming they let you in. Downtown is reserved for smugglers, fences, gamblers, and pirates. For a special thrill, I recommend watching the platypus pataka in the market arena. However, Fighting only takes place when two squabblers are going after each other. See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. May I bother you again? And you're gonna do that anyway. <laughs> Got a point there. You're part of a resistance movement, or so I've heard. Who said that? That's top secret information. Sorry, didn't know that. And the others don't seem to be clear on the concept either. And please tell them! We can't have everyone broadcasting my secrets! What are you rebelling against? Against our oppression by the Organon. What else? Death to the Organon! What has the Organon ever done to you? Well, it, it oppresses me with its constant oppression. It makes me furious! May I join you? Impossible. You could be an Organon spy. But how are you going to fight the Organon if you don't recruit new members? <laughs> Through passive resistance. Meaning you do nothing? But we do. We constantly hatch new plans about how we can resist even more passively. Sometimes we even don't say a bad word about the Organon for weeks. That's how passive we are. Wow. The Prime Controller is going to blow a fuse when he finds out. Please let me join you. I want to impress a woman. You think that would work? Of course. Women go for courageous men. Men who have the courage to use a filthy bathroom in a pub. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking of the kind of courage you need to join a good cause. Hey, but I'm already doing that. Here, take this bathroom key to Gulliver. I no longer need it. Take me to your leader. Forget it. The way to our hideout is top secret. I thought you met in the basement of Yanosh's mama's house. <laughs> Maybe. But only members know our secret knock. Can I join you if I beat you at rock, paper, scissors? Nobody beats me at rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> There's no danger then, right? Um... Mm. You have a point. All right, then. Why not? Let me know when you're ready. I'll be off, then. See you around. <laughs> Locked. In my last adventure, I had the key to the city. What a come down. Did it just get colder in here? Ah! Uh, what is that? Oh! Ah! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Anything but that! Take it away! Take it away! Ah!
Not this agony! <laughs> Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises, and let's just say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. Strange toilet paper covered with little bumps. No wonder that, well, actually, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh. I don't see a switch. Eh, no matter. With a little technical know-how, it shouldn't be a problem. Turn off! This isn't the trash-burning engine. Huh, wish I could remember. Is sugar in the tank good or bad for the engine? Well, there's only one way to find out. Right, it was bad, thought so. <laughs> it's really dark here, but not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar hearing. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole southwest quadrant. <laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. Is that supposed to be a razor fish? To me, it looks more like a sword. Expired tranquilizers. Huh, <laughs> better than nothing. Yoo-hoo! What? Where? So, what do you sell here? What does it look like? Well... No, seriously, what does it look like? I'm blind, you know. I see mostly mind-altering substances, illegal drugs, and questionable medications. Oh, good. That's all right, then. This is my drugstore, apparently. Uh, how may I help you? I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? I would like a plus five healing potion. Sorry. All sold out. But I have some antidotes on sale. Nah, never mind. I'll save my money then. What's in that bottle back there? Undiluted ethanol with antifreeze? Tastes all right, really. I used to drink that a lot, until I was eventually no longer able to find the bottle. Have you got any sedatives? Yes, but you need a prescription. I've got a prescription right here. That's not a prescription. That's a button you tore from your coat. Are you quite sure about that? Listen, I may be blind, but I'm not dumb. Well, maybe you should get a second opinion. Are you giving away anything for free? Not really. The only thing I could offer you is a sample of this new plant. It contains various mind-altering substances that have never been tested on humans. Incredibly dangerous. Absolutely illegal. And the possible side effects are both unpredictable and unspeakable. But it's free. Yes, but... In that case, can I have it? Not so fast. 
you can only have the Cucumis Agnito in exchange for a free coupon. Cucu... what? Cucumis Agnito, the cucumber of revelation. The active ingredient is in its juice. Unfortunately, the shell is very hard. Hard shell, dangerous content, unpredictable side effects? Oh, ho just like me! Won't you let me have a free cucumber? Only for a coupon. Ah, oh, great. And where would I get one of these coupons? From the free pharmacy magazine, of course. But I don't see a free pharmacy magazine here. Neither do I. But do you hear me complaining? It's prominently displayed here somewhere. No, it's not. When I took my break earlier, one copy was definitely still there. I tested a new laxative, and suddenly everything had to go very fast. And you took the magazine to the bathroom with you? What for? To read the cartoons? Ever heard of Braille? Also, Gulliver's Tavern is always out of toilet paper. <sighs> ah, nothing I need right now. You get what you deserve. I'm new here. Are there any sites you would recommend? Very funny. I'm blind. Just in case you hadn't noticed. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me! You're blind? How come? Let's put it like this. I should have read the directions for use while I still could. Mm. From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Oh, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. Mm, I'd noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. Have you been to Bellevue recently? Very funny. Wait a minute. What is that? Uh, uh. Hmm, what's up with that arena? Uh, I've been wondering about that myself. All I know is that it's a cauldron-shaped pit in the center of the marketplace. Some kind of sporting competition is held there, involving platypuses, I think, and water. Water? Yes. Luckily, they've now built a railing around the arena. Boo-boo-boo! peek a -boo. Get lost! See you later. Not if I see you first. Strange toilet paper covered with little bumps. No wonder that, well, actually, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh. Is this a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille, although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment, Cucumis Agnito, the cucumber of revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. Hmm. The red pipe leads toward little Venice. The green into the heart of the industrial park. And the yellow into that dark alley. A uh, great. Hey, hello. <coughs> what do you mean, blah, the nerve? Du du da du 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 da. Ru refuse. Ru ru refuse. Ru refuse. Super super defuse. <laughs> hey, you can say what you like about those black market bumps, but they have good taste in music. It's empty if you don't count all the creepy crawlies.
It seems to be a colony of junk crabs. Cute. <laughs> that isn't the secret knock. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. The secret knock goes. <laughs> you fool. Now you've given it away. Let me in. First, the knock. All right. Now can I come in? No. Wait, I got that wrong. That was the old knock. What? But... I know. It's a shame we changed it. The old one was much easier to remember. Nevertheless, we're using the new knock now. <sighs> and how does it go? It's a secret. Oh, darn it. I've never seen such a snooty door sensor. <sighs> empty, empty, except for the bird droppings. There's nothing here but bird droppings. And there's enough of those on Bozo's deck. I didn't have to come here for them. Ow! 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 Darn death trap! Ow! As much as I hate narrow-minded specialists, the hat is pretty cool. Oh, platypus, you are the best. Upon your breast, I'll gladly rest. The Big Platypus Field Guide, third edition. Hands off! The field guide is only for members of the Platypus Club. Even though I really resent having to ask this question, uh, how can I become a member of the Platypus Club again? It's easy. I hit some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. <laughs> really? Which once again proves that luck is relative. I uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in there. I uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in there. This crankshaft without a crank is missing something. With what? A crank! This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank! Rufus, you are a genius. I uh, never touch stuff. Go, go, Rufus, rubber arm! <laughs> Uh, that always worked before. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu. Just a second. I'll be with you right away. 
Oh, great and almighty Mathulu, your faithful servant has found you another sacrifice. Moginox Aprixidor Dobidom Padlex. Barador Extra Cheese. Yes. Yes. Huh, not a bad place. Here I am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, oh, no problem. How can I help you? So, what have you got? Well, the dinner menu applies for the restaurant. Here at the takeout counter, we mainly serve platypus burgers. Mm, I hope they're not too greasy. I would hate to ruin my perfect body. Oh, in that case, I'd better ask. Oh, great and wise Mathulu. The sacrifice wishes to know whether our burgers will make him fat. Ravanek cha, Ravanek kam cha. Horror, all natural. Ah, right. Our management would like to assure you that we use nothing but choicest ingredients in our products, and all the essential vitamins are provided by free-range lettuce leaves. Just make your choice from the menu. There are three menu options to choose from. Plus, you can modify your choice if you like. It's all explained on the menu. What a romantic place. You think so? Oh, yeah. The view, the old town, all that's missing is children at play. Oh, uh, one moment, please. I think he's on to us. He noticed the missing children. Borodeor Satinav. Mumble Schnumble Grabbar Bounce. Oh, you know, oh Lord of Darkness, sometimes I find you downright scary. Here I am again. Anything else I can do for you? So, what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Ah, that's no problem. The sacrifice just asks about the fortune cookies, my lord. Meet your fan Zuzex Padino Muror Padidana. La Paridox Tomentor. <laughs> Enslaved mortals! Right on! And here I am again! The fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. Hooray! I'd like to reserve a table for two. For two? Just a moment. I think there may be a second sacrifice. How shall I proceed? Porto nominem hasur modiner confuginox. Leomon fa demon in advance. Oh, what? I'll let him know then. Boy, they really know how to treat a customer. Unfortunately, we cannot accept any more reservations for tonight. The only free table is reserved for our regulars. Does, does your dinner menu include anything besides platypus? I just need to check that out. Uh, please excuse me for a moment. He's asking about the dinner menu, so what should I tell him? Molesto nime volidor. Pollux verito. No, sir, I'm sorry. As long as we have a good supply, all our dishes will be made from platypus. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well, just make your choice from the menu.
Is this your order? Yes. Why? Well, do you even have enough money? Uh, I mean, the, the way you're dressed and all. No, you're right. Sorry, it's all my fault. Just a second. How can I help you? I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu. Is this your order? Yes. Why? Right. Uh, that comes to uh, zero slotty. <laughs> that deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. And you can keep the change. Huh. I can't wait to see if my proverbial tinkerer's luck has landed me a trial membership in the Platypus Club. The greatest happiness is to see others smile. Darn it, another loser. Just a second, how can I help you? I'd like to order the same again. One usual, coming up. You catch the biggest fish with patience. Darn it, another loser. Just a second, how can I help you? I'd like to order the same again. One usual, coming up. Huh, they only have dishes made from platypus here. Lady Goal won't like that at all. Welcome to Platypus Paradise. What platitudes may I offer you today? What the heck is this place? It's a souvenir shop. We have everything a tourist could possibly desire. Platypus greeting cards, platypus candy, platypus hats, platypus back scratchers, platypus jewelry, platypus figurines for the mantelpiece, platypus cuddly toys, t-shirts with amusing platypus slogans, and music cartridges with platypus noises. <laughs> well stuck. <clears throat> I take it you're into platypuses. Sure looks like it, huh? Platypuses are my livelihood. If you know where to find them, you can make a small fortune off of them. By selling back scratchers to tourists? <laughs> you have no idea. For one thing, I supply them to the platypus restaurant. I'm also a bookmaker for platypus betting and chairman of the platypus club. Platypuses even inspire my poetry. You, uh, write poetry about platypuses. Yep, mainly for greeting cards, but they also appear every week in Platypus Daily. Have you got anything that's not made from platypuses? Well, the platypus figurines are made of clay, but I use platypus wax for the finish. Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's poetry, platypus poetry. You also supply the platypus restaurant. Yep, there's good eating on one of those things. What if there's a shortage? Now that would be a disaster. The restaurant would have to completely change its menu. But it'll never come to that. There are unguarded nests everywhere on the floating black market. What do you mean by unguarded nests? In every generation, there's an especially vicious platypus that guards the nest of the bride. Well, what could they possibly do to you? Try to bite your fingers? Let me tell you, they're evil little critters. Oh, don't tell me they can bite through gloves. 
and jock straps. Oh. So you're interested in nest guardians. Club members get to read all about them in the platypus field guide. Uh, <laughs> yippee. <clears throat> What's the deal with this platypus club? Oh, it's great. As a member, you always get brand new information from the world of platypuses delivered to your doorstep. You'll be the first to learn about the wonders of platypus procreation. And you'll know the platypus migration routes even before winter comes. And you'll have feathers grow on your hump. Ho, 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 Platypuses have neither feathers nor humps. As a member of the club, you'd know that. Upon registration, every new member receives the latest edition of the Platypus Field Guide. I hid some trial members membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. With a little help from Dame Fortune, you might be able to join the inner circle of platypus enthusiasts. If Dame Fortune really keeps herself busy with that kind of humbug, it explains the bad luck I've had. Uh, how can I become a member of the platypus club again? It's easy. I hit some trial membership cards in the... <laughs> What else can you tell me about platypuses? Quite a lot. My dad would take all day. And <laughs> nobody wants that. If you were a member of the Platypus Club, you would be issued with a platypus field guide. You could look it all up for yourself then. Ha <laughs> ha yes. Life could be so beautiful. <laughs> Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. uses a spade to rake. Oh, look, children, it's Hoedown the Garden Gnome. Hoedown, Hoedown, how's the ice can be? Hands off the tree! Okay. What? That wasn't my hands. Because, because I did it with my feet. You see? Here. Feet. Boom. <laughs> oh, come on. That was funny. <laughs> And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh, must be the stress. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. I've got enough loose dirt in my coat. If I need more soil, I should look for an appropriate container. Terrific. Even more filth. Impressive digs. Ahem. Have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. What are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My... Dad? Rufus? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem. Your shoes, Rufus. Oh. Ahem. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick-ass location. And a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's, it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. Oh. Listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? 
Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes, Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium. You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I remember. And how? Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today, I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad, I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old, loser. You changed your name? Nothing to do with you, honestly. But still, please don't go around telling everybody you're my son, all right? Dad, how come you're talking to me like that? You may not have noticed, but I am no longer a child. Ah, you're all grown up now. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Like with a house of your own and a steady income. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, um... I'll take that for a no. I'm a tinkerer. I even had a real workshop in Kuvak. <laughs> you're not talking about that toy workbench I once gave you when you were little. Well, I'm, st I'm still way more grown up than you are. So there. <laughs> don't you even want to know what I've been up to all this time? Oh, please don't tell me you wreaked some sort of havoc again. What was it this time? Did you set something on fire? Did you steal anything? Destroy someone else's property? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've got to see that in context. I have to stop the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Then what are you doing here in the floating black market? The Organon are far away. And if anything should explode here, it'll probably be your fault. Yeah, you just don't understand. I don't? So when has the Organon ever blown up anything? Maybe not so far, but, but, but... And how many detonations have you caused this month? Well, I, 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 I... That shuts you up, huh? I'm, I'm still counting. I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? <laughs> now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No, you were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry, she's in a safe place, down in Gulliver's Tavern at the harbor. Okay. Looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad? Let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives. If, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me hives, all right. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Well, there was this bowl of peanuts. I'm talking about a date, Rufus. A romantic date. Hmm. The only restaurant that might be suitable is Shea Schlumpy. At least they offer an exclusive view. But alas, all they have on their menu is platypus. What's wrong with platypus? It's so vulgar. It lives among the flotsam and feeds on table scraps. It could even be the heraldic beast of Deponia. No. Platypus dishes would only remind her that she is stranded in the boondocks. You must see to it that Platypus completely disappears from the menu at Schlumpy's. Can you do that? Ah, oh, piece of cake for a romantic like me. Once you've done that, you may reserve a table in my name. But not before then. Understand? What exactly are you working on? I need to write instructions for my staff. And you consider that more important than talking to your son? We haven't seen each other in years. So why would every second suddenly count now? 
I am responsible for this house and its personnel. I am also responsible for doing important things, like saving the world. Then why are you still hanging around here? Do I still have to hover over you to make sure you're completing your chores? I haven't told you the half of it. Oh my, Rufus. What else have you gotten yourself into? I'm actually about to go to Elysium. <laughs> Good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to Elysium. Yeah, right. Come on, Rufus. I am truly flattered that you want to follow in my footsteps. But do you really have to step into every single pile of poop on the way? Not everyone. For one thing, I would never leave my eight-year-old son behind. Really? So you would take him along? Yes, I would. Well, if he takes after you, I hope you'll remember to bring a little shovel and a plastic bag. I'll tell you some other time. Sounds good to me. In the meantime, I'll consult my legal advisor. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. Hands off the ornamental fish. Hey, I just wanted to pet them. I said no. Aw, oh, man. This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Yeah, who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? <laughs> These hideous vegetables? Uh, they could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. There. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 1. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 2. Gah, this library is a total waste of space. As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, blah, blah. That doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah, that's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. There. This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah, the floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need coal. There. Can't you do anything on your own? That is why I have servants. Oh yeah, do they wipe your butt too? Oh, that reminds me. Ah, stop I need scribbling. Toilet. Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? On the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. Huh. 
This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled, Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? I don't usually associate with cleaning implements. On the other hand, I like little technical gadgets that make more noise than necessary. Hmm. What's that? Is that a lint trap? I don't usually associate with cleaning implements. On the other hand, I like little technical gadgets that make more noise than necessary. Hmm. Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. This is the highest point on the island. I wonder what they do with it. Show off their poor sense of fashion. I could reach it easily. But as long as it meets me halfway, I don't want to. Welcome to the flag -o mat For half-mast, insert human ashes here. <laughs> Handy. Gromit. <laughs> what a silly word. Gromit, gromit, gromit. <laughs> <laughs> Friends? Oh! <laughs> Rats! I just passed out again. I didn't even get his answer. If you suck at everything, you might as well become a poet. That is so pitiful. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. I'll try laughing. <laughs> oh yeah, good decision. Hey, hands off! If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. Knock, knock. Hmm? Who or what are you? They call me Rufus. I'm Crane, but everybody here calls me the poet. Who calls you that? I, mean, I just heard it for the first time. You probably move in the wrong circles. Oh, yeah? If you mean those circles that don't include your ego, you're probably right. That's what I'm talking about. Your place looks a bit austere. I've got everything I need. Yeah, except for an interior designer. Do you know Captain Seagull? <laughs> you mean the idiot who lives above me in the villa? I'm rather fed up with him. Hey, be careful what you say. Seagull is my father. I see. A chip off the old block.
But you've got to admit that Captain Seagull has a cool lifestyle. Useless and materialistic. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. What was that again? You don't need any of the stuff that Captain Seagull needs? That's what I said. Huh. Can I borrow some of your things? No. If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. You're such a pathetic wretch. But I'm rich in spirit. Isn't that the same? The Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. Ha! <laughs> Typical. Those up there do whatever they want. Yeah, were you even listening? They want to blow up Deponia. Nobody will survive. Don't you want to do anything about that? But of course. I shall write a cynical poem. I shall call it, They Think There's Something Better. And this poem is supposed to inspire the masses to rise up? Not really. The masses are always too stupid for my intellectual flights of fancy. See you later. Right. Leave me alone. What is that? A message from Captain High and Mighty? You can keep it. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. Well, this message may interest you much more. What? Show me. I need bread. Damn! He needs bread. I read that. And you have bread. Yes, but I... Well? I don't need that sort of thing. Go ahead and take it if you want it. <laughs> you can bet on it. Hey, hands off! If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. That is so pitiful. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. I'll try laughing. <laughs> oh yeah, good decision. I have another memo from Seagull. Oh dear, I've got a bad feeling about this. I need water. Go ahead and take it if you want it. Go on. Help yourself. Mail from Seagull. Oh, please, no. I need candles. So... The candle, too. Go on, it's yours. Guess what I have here? Another memo. Bingo! I need... Coal. <gasps> what else? There goes the coal. Here I am again, and this time... Just take everything you can find. I don't need anything at all anymore, except for a quiet moment to cry myself to sleep. And what's this? The ashes of my poor...
poor mother. I keep them as a reminder. What is a pot of ashes supposed to remind you of? Not to feed fire platypuses dry kibble, for example. Oh. Hey! What are you doing? You said I can take everything. But those are my mother's ashes. Hey, I didn't make the rules. I just bent them a little. <laughs> And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. The hook fits in this grommet perfectly. Now, I just have to find a reason why I would want to do that, and off we go. Good idea. Now. I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have the perfect catapult. Nothing happened. <laughs> Goal is bound to be impressed. Oh, cucumber of revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. <laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then... Um, whatever, something really clever. Here goes nothing. I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that, because according to the label,
These sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. I knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello. Hello. Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Uh -huh. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. Heh <laughs> super. Dang it. Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. <laughs> it works! I'm invisible! <laughs> woo! Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I sure fooled him. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Huh? What do you want? Terracona. No, no, you're you're in the wrong place. Now, she's working in Boss Bach Ertel as a cockroach hairdresser these days. I'll be back. Hey, no biggie. You meet nice people here. I feel like I'm being watched. That must be one of those genuine tournament hands for professional rock, paper, scissors. I have got to get on board that submersible. Hey, you! Why are you sneaking around here? Do you mean me? Of course I mean you! 
Or do you have an invisible buddy with you? Huh. If I had a buddy with me, he wouldn't be half as invisible as I am, because I move as inconspicuously as a ninja. Hey! Ah, no way. The way you stomp around, I would notice you even if you were hidden using the golden dragon of invisibility from Gilligan's gadget shop. Ha! A real ninja doesn't need gadgets. I can dissolve into thin air with my secret stealth powers anytime. Then please do that. I don't want to see you around here again. Understand? Oh, no, I can't while someone's watching. Who would have thought that under that rough exterior there was such a ridiculous sofa covering? Uh, uh, Rufus, there you are. Stay where you are! My optician knows karate! B but Rufus, it's me, Bozo. Ha! <laughs> you look ridiculous! It's ridiculously good. Uh, you don't think this hat makes my face look fat? And the ruffles pinch a little in the crotch. Nah, it's supposed to be that way. Just right for a date. And is that aftershave I smell? No, it's a wolf repellent. Oh, good. Uh, thinking ahead. So you're, you're all set then. I don't know. Do you really think this is a good idea? What are we doing here again? That's what I'm beginning to ask myself. I think the idea was that I should try to reconcile with my Bambina. With your freebooter manners, this is bound to go horribly wrong. Actually, I know exactly what I need to say to her. I'm a little more concerned about her manners. Last time, she threw an axe at me. I see. That explains the wooden leg. What wooden leg? Arr! That's my pirate! <laughs> what wooden leg? What hook? <laughs> You can't see her clearly anyway because of the eye patch, right? Are you trying to give me courage in some really bizarre way? Arr! Well, I don't know really. Of course, it's gonna be great. Last time you said that, I got stuck on a reef. Yes, but the view was fabulous. Come on, you big baby. Oh, good grief. How did I get myself into this? You're not regret. How many times do I have to tell you that I didn't shoot the grandpa? Well, at least not on purpose. What? Bozo? Is that really you? Uh, no. Come on in. I don't want to have to dispose of the body of yet another noise pollution officer in the canal. Come on! And now you tell me exactly where you have been all this time. Well, I, I, I was on my way to... Uh, what are you doing with that machete? Please calm down, will you? Aren't you at Hulk glad to see me? Come on, Bambina. You know exactly what's gonna happen. First, you're ma mad as a hornet. But as soon as I say this certain line, what's that? over this din. I think you better leave now. But out now. Uh, 
see. I told you. Shh. Did I just hear something? No, I don't think so. I mean, doormats can't talk, right? Hello? Testing, testing. Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. A comet is approaching the floating black market. I repeat, a comet is approaching the floating black market. In order to avoid panic, you should consider suicide as an option. <laughs> Great, now the pipe's closed, but it didn't do me any good. I'd better leave it open. And keep it in the back of my mind, just in case. What is it this time? I told you, I don't lend stuff to no one. So don't complain when you get a cup of cyanide instead of milk. What the? Who are you? I would like a knife. In your gut or in your eye? You can have both. <laughs> what have you got on offer? My specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors. Holy crap on a cracker. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Ha! Just look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the emphasis on yet! I think I lost my way. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk! That's why! Huh. Somehow you remind me of my girlfriend. At least one particular third of her. Is she that fat? No, I, I was talking about the temperamental part of her. Fat and cranky, then. D do you know Captain Bozo? Captain? Ha! Does it make you a captain these days? If you only just manage to keep a rusty junk troller afloat? The only captain I know is Captain Seagull up in Bellevue. But I'll take Bozo any day over that puffed up imbecile. So, you know him. I'm currently wearing his underwear, if you really must know. <laughs> I'll, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You just don't know the right moves. Wasn't my fault. It was that gondolier. His caterwauling totally killed the romantic mood. I hope he's not gonna show up again. May the junk crabs get him. Yeah, right. <laughs> the what? Junk crabs. Those pesky parasites that hang out in flotsam. Those critters are a real plague. Rumor has it they came to the floating black market stowed away in transportation crates. Oh, you mean junk crabs. Forget those pests. Who needs a plague of parasites when you've got Rufus? <laughs> you take care of your bambina. I'll see to this gondolier. Ugh. Do you really think it's worth all this trouble? You're not going to give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Goofy, <sighs> go on an oar salesman. When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You will get. Come on in. Come on. You've got some nerve! 
showing up here again. I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that y you know I, I find it quite romantic out now Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <coughs> and now, quiet. Ha! Got it! Oh, so let me Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The Jolly Johnny song. Mm, it's not so romantic, um, but uh, then I will do my best. Which isn't much. Oh, Rufus. Do you really think that's a good idea? You're not going to give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Stupid daughter, the old salesman. When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You again. Come on in. Come on. You got some love showing up here again. I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and. Yeah, Mario, you 
Luca, Francesco, Davide, Sofia, Matteo, Ernesto, Antonio, Sara, Ali, Ciao, Rora, Cam, Quigli, Papà, Sam, Kautzl, Na, Feuer, Lorenzo, Riccardo, Elena, Gepetto, Na, Presto, Papà, Sam, Kautzl, In, Petto, If you're buying Johnny's, Na, Wo, Andere, The importance of checking the expiration date. Oh, so lame, La, 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 la. Ah, not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! Got it. Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The Dead Pigeon Tango. Hmm, it's a not so romantic, um, but... Uh... Then I will do my best, which isn't much. Oh, I'm Rufus. Do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. <sighs> Stupid daughter, the horse salesman. When will you have a learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You again. Come on in. Come on. You've got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... My love, I have an explanation. A three dead pigeons are stored behind the drawer. Oh, sorry, me. La 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 la. Ah, not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now!
Got it. Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The Junk Avalanche Tarantella. Hmm, it's a not so romantic, um, but, um, va bene. I will do my best. Which isn't much. Do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Stupid, do you want to do a salesman? When will you have a learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You again, come on in. Come on! You got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... About the five C's I still want to do in life I wish I saw the major flaw I was about to do Of all the things I should have not had to make A low angle shot of his metal avalanche As I did number two Oh, so let me oh, la, 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 la Ah, not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! Generator provides the tavern street for any Got it.
Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The mating song of the junk crabs. Magnifico! Finalmente! Una canzone molto romantica! No, as long as there is no junk crabs nearby, it's non pericoloso, eh? <laughs> Mille grazie! <laughs> Whoever designed this pipe displays a refreshing lack of respect for any sense of efficiency. Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Stupid, you ought to know what salesman. When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You again, come on in. Come on. You got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and. The noise, dear, I'm getting annoyed here. A junk crab settled in our clock. They racket about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing if I am not erring. A junk crab in the chronograph are having a laugh. Not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! They seem to actually like that yowling, which sort of makes sense. After all, they don't have any ears. Gotcha! Hmm. The red pipe leads toward little Venice. The green into the heart of the industrial park, and the yellow into that dark alley. Run! You're free! But don't get lost. Oh, so let me Ancora? Oh, stupido! Stupido ganzo cretino! <laughs> oh, yeah!
Another new airbag? How many replacement airbags does Doc have? Another new airbag? How many replacement airbags does Doc have? Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. <sighs> Freaking Girl Scouts! You will regret your persistence! As soon as I find out why my spring gun won't... You again! Come on in! Come on! You've got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you hear the noise, dear? I'm getting annoyed here. A chocolate settled in our clock. The record about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing if I am not erring. A chocolate in the chronograph. I'm having a laugh. I'm shaken, awaken, if I'm not mistaken. A chakra nesting in a clock, the racket about in the tickety tock. All doubts excluded if I'm not deluded. A pinch of agitated rummage, how a chronometer. It's late and I'm tired if I'm not ill wild. Junk that caused the dreadful noise in our time measurement device. What's that now? You're kidding. The trumpets and fiddling. What the crap? I'm going to snap in ice and risk of skidding. How can I sleep with junk crabs near the ear? What's all my sorrow? I fear, my dear, we have to exile that in tomorrow. Ah, not again! <laughs> ho, 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 ho. <sighs> what a sight! Go ahead, Bozo! Say it! Whoa, now comes the interesting bit. <clears throat> Why, hello, dog. Come here often. Oh, Bozo. Wow, six words that open the gate to a whole new world. I don't want to bother the two of them. Wait a second, what am I saying? Hello, Rufus is back. Darn it, they can't hear me. Yoo-hoo again! Scram! You're scaring the fish! I'm very, very quiet. That's beside the point. Have you ever seen ears on a fish? The most important thing about fishing is fisherman's luck. If you're a fisherman, you'd know that. Uh, but... Shoot! What's that supposed to be? A fortune cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. Huh, if that's all, there you go, I won. 
Hooray! What? Show me. Nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be, um, a member of the Platypus Club. But it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club. Once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. Huh, the day started out so nice. Breakneck high wire acrobatics, brain surgery gone horribly wrong, and then suddenly I'm a trial member of the Platypus Club. Look at this! A fine specimen, wouldn't you say? What the? Don't tell me you caught that! <laughs> sure looks like it. Holy headache. Perhaps I misjudged you. Just how is that possible when you have so little fisherman's luck? What's your secret, buddy? I attract fish with my animal magnetism. That's a lie. Ew, and a disgusting thought. If you won't tell me your fishing secret, get lost. I use a pedal-powered tandem rod. Yeah, pull the other one. If you won't tell me your fishing secret, get lost. I use a tear-proof line made of caterpillar silk. Also called a yarn. If you won't tell me your fishing secret, get lost. They call it fisherman's luck. <laughs> Never. I know an unlucky guy when I see one. If you won't tell me your fishing secret, get lost. It's because I'm so incredibly relaxed. Yeah, that's an important factor, which you haven't got. Real fisherman's so laid back that he can't leave the house without a folding chair. If you won't tell me your fishing secret, get lost. I use a special kind of bait. Ha! Huh. And now he claims to have a... Wait a minute. Bait is important. And you must have caught that razorfish somehow. Could it be that you really got a special bait? Are you calling me a liar? Not if you show me your bait. Huh. What's in it for me? Well, I could offer you a tiger fish. An ordinary tiger fish against my fantastic special bait? You must be a few worms short of a can. Forget it then. Forget it then, like, so totally. Ha! See if I care. If you want a tiger fish at some point, bring me your special bait. If not, shoot! I don't want that. That's nah, really small bait. Nothing like my epic whale bait made from phosphorescent anchovies. What's that supposed to be? What do you think? My special bait, of course. Hmm. That really does look like genuine bait. All right. Maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Hey, stand still. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't even catch a fish that's already on land? I didn't want it. It was suffering from epilepsy. Yeah, whatever. Keep your bait until you really want a fish. Otherwise, beat it. Expired tranquilizers. That gives me an idea. But where do I get an expired neurotic? <laughs> I've got almost all the components for a fishing rod now. He wants his peace and quiet. He can have it. What's that supposed to be? What do you think? My special bait, of course. Hmm. 
That really does look like genuine bait. All right, maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Ha, got it. Congratulations, Mr. Fisherman. Now give me the bait. Huh. I don't know. It's a pretty tiny fish and really big bait. All right, all right. Anything to shut you up. I hope I can find a use for this fish before it starts to smell. I really don't want to repeat that fiasco with the anchovies. Welcome again. I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope, but you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. The Big Platypus Field Guide, third edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course! I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. Ha! <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner! <laughs> this plan is like so crazy, so crazy, it just has to work. It says here that Earth platypuses hide their eggs in the soil. It's a good thing I'm not on an island made of flotsam. Earth platypuses hatch in frozen soil with the first ground frost. Oh, bummer! I can't possibly wait for the start of winter. It says here that flying platypuses hide their eggs in high places. They seem to be very acrobatic. <laughs> Just like me. Flying platypuses hatch in freefall from the highest point of their habitat. Hey, tricky, but cool. Strange illustration. Looks like the artist didn't know what a landing net is or didn't know how to draw. It says here that fire platypuses hide their eggs in hot geysers. Geysers? There's nothing like that around here. Fire platypuses hatch in blazing fire. That's what I call an innate flair for a dramatic entrance. It says here that water platypuses hide their eggs near the shore. Well, great! It's not easy to find a place on this hunk of flotsam to which that doesn't apply. Water platypuses hatch, excuse me, in the mouths of living zebrafish? <laughs> hey, disgusting! It also says here that zebrafish are freshwater fish. It may be difficult to find any here.
According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Stop right there. I don't think I can pull this off without tools. Perhaps these two rocks and the meerkat trap over there could help. Ah, gotcha. You thought you could fool me, didn't you? But the wiser man never gives in. That may be just dirt, but it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. According to the field guide, earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. So far, so good. My pants catapult is almost finished. All that's missing is ammunition. My pants catapult is almost finished. I just need to stretch it somehow. There's a heap of ashes in there that I dumped into the flagomat. Maybe I can use them again. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <laughs> exactly. I just have to untie the knot, and then... Hey, what's going on? I can't get this stupid knot open. Aw, oh, why did I have to be such a gifted knotter? Is that supposed to be a razor fish? To me, it looks more like a sword. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then... Whoa! A perfect trajectory! <sighs> I'm sure that can be used a second time. So far, so good. Now, all I have to do is catch it and bring it back to its nest. Considering that Crane supposedly owns only things he really needs, his junk is awfully useless. I thought he was just bragging. Here, platy platy, look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Mm, no, actually. Yes, of course. <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. 
here, Platty Platty. Ha! Got it! I should take it to its nest before it starts to bolt. According to the field guide, this is a water platypus egg. Tweet, tweet. My collection is growing. There's no need to wash my stuff. I want to prepare a brain operation, not open an ice cream parlor. Or whatever it is that you need clean stuff for. Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off, and then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, why, hello, doll. Come here often? Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Well, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot ain't a crime. Hey! But maybe being an idiot is. I said, hey! You're lucky I don't hit women. Go ahead and try. Maybe I'll start by giving you a good spanking. If you fancy a broken jaw, be my guest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here in the floating black market, we settle our differences in a civilized manner. There is only one way to get you two to quit your bickering. Platypus Pataka. <laughs> Bring it on! That doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. What an ugly training dummy. I will beat it up with great pleasure. Not that I really need any training. All right, I'll give it a try just this once. <laughs> I meant to do that. I wanted to let him win too, just this once. <laughs> I meant to do that. I wanted to let him win too, just this once. <laughs> I meant to do that. I wanted to let him win too, just this once.
Enough training. <laughs> I'm in great shape anyway. Bring it on! doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. It's on! Let's get ready for another wild round of Lassipo's Wataka! That doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. It's on! Let's get ready for another wild round of Lassipo's Wataka! And fight! Yeah. Don't shield your balls! Walking silly bonus! Power move! Ooh. Be prime. Then mm. see friends. Embarrassing. Ah. Too bad. Aqua. Too soft. I did not blow. Mm. Block has blown. What an idiot. Bash. Rage! 
Finish him! 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 Finish That was fun. Huh, that was fun. Maybe you're not the little idiot I took you for after all. That's because people tend to overlook my true greatness. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you'll find a way. And I should know. The others are a part of me. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, only without his attitude and his misguided sense of superiority. That's true. I'm totally laid back. And you exude a certain air of neglect that makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I'd better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? So much wonderful potential for a festive, all-consuming fire. Who do we have here? Gucci Goo! Well, hello! So young and already so aggressive. Here, Platty Platty! Well, hello! So young and already so aggressive. Well, hello! So It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. Here, platy platy. Well, hello. So young and already so aggressive. That is by far the coolest platypus in the city. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah! Cold! According to the field guide, this is the breeding ground 
for the local Earth platypus colony. This is where platypus experts find the ingredients for a variety of culinary delicacies. At least, as long as the nests are unguarded. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Earth platypus is off the menu for now. <laughs> Call me an incurable animal lover. According to the field guide, this is the breeding ground of the local water platypus colony. This is where platypus experts find the ingredients for a variety of culinary delicacies. At least, as long as the nests are unguarded. Hmm. You should always keep an open flame in your overcoat. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Oh, darn it. The egg hopped into the pipe system completely by itself. I have to get it out of there somehow. According to the field guide, this is the breeding grounds of the local fire platypus colony. This is where platypus experts find the ingredients for a variety of culinary delicacies. At least, as long as the nests are unguarded. Hmm. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. 
<laughs> it's kind of cute. Black would be better, with flames glued to the side up front. And maybe, maybe a dragon with a battle axe. Voila! A zebrafish! Not necessary. I've got all the time I need. Does it have juice? Don't play around with the equipment. If you aren't careful, you can open a wormhole. According to the field guide, water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebrafish. So far, so good. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to overload. The energy flow is off the scale. Space is already beginning to bend. Just a second. Come on, fish birds. Live. Live. Ha <laughs> ha I did it. It's alive. <laughs> Rupert, damn it. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was. It was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. It won't last long without fresh water. Why fresh water, of all things? Hang on, Frankenfish. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. The twitching has stopped. Uh, that probably means I used to have a cool zombie pet. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to overload. The energy flow is off the scale. Space is already beginning to bend. Just a second. Come on, fish birds. Live. Live. <laughs> I did it. It's alive. <laughs> Rufus, damn it. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was. It was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie.
Hang on, Frankenfish. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Hang on, Frankenfish. Hang on, Frankenfish. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Hang on, Frankenfish. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately. Come to Papa. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> Honey, cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. I should take it to its nest before it starts to mold. According to the field guide, this is the breeding ground of the local flying platypus colony. This is where platypus experts find the ingredients for a variety of culinary delicacies. At least, as long as the nests are unguarded. Hmm. According to the field guide, this at least... Hmm. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Yeah, flying platypus is off the menu for now. I feel like I'm being watched. I knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. <laughs> huh. Let's see how well he can see me now. You again? I told you to beat it. I did. I am one with the shadows. Whoosh. Are you referring to your five o'clock shadow? The way you stomp around, I would notice you even if you were hidden, using the golden dragon of invisibility from Gilligan's Gadget Shop. Ah, oh, darn it. I don't understand why that didn't work. <laughs> huh. Let's see how well he can see me now. Huh. All right, the plan may be perfect, but perhaps it could use a little polishing. 
I knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. I would need a screwdriver to take the sunglasses apart again. I knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. Maybe I put it back together wrong. I'd better take it apart again. <laughs> huh, let's see how well he can see me now. You again? I told I I am Are you the way you Ah, oh, darn it. I don't understand why that didn't work. <laughs> All right, the plan may be perfect, but perhaps it could use a little polishing. Maybe I put it back together wrong. I better take it apart again. <laughs> huh, let's see how well he can see me now. Wait a minute, there's a little sign here. No dogs allowed. And underneath is a cute puppy who isn't a member of unorganized crime. Normally, I ignore any sort of warning sign. But hey, that puppy is really cute. Well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. Wait a minute, nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this, but that's... Hello, Wink, please come in. Uh-oh, there's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute, I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiancé. Well, ex-fiancé, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus? Wink, is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes? Uh-huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Ex Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Well, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? Where are you anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh yeah, <laughs> good question. <laughs> Why, I wonder. <clears throat> Because of the handover later? My answer would have been more plausible, but yes, exactly. I'm in an Organon blast tower directly on the cruiser route to Porta Fisco. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. But let me know in advance when you're going to show up here, or the Organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? What's the hurry? But I... 
I already told you. Yes, but your pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, I'll explain it to you just one more time. Uh. The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Port of Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway. Because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risks. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <clears throat> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead, too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, j just, just a moment. I... Uh, 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 oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charm. <laughs> it can't be so hard, Ben. <laughs> Kitty! Oh, how cute! <laughs> Shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuff. Then where's the real kitty? Ah oh, well, who cares? Uh-oh. What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with him? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? Well, what did she say? Isn't that obvious? That I'm being pardoned? <laughs> what, I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> Got me there. What are your plans for me, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please tell me now what that winking means? <laughs> yes. That I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bravo, you guessed it. Yippee! Oh. I want to make Donna an offer. <laughs> Donna says no. Mercy! <laughs> <laughs> right. I have another offer to make. 
<laughs> All right. Donna's listening. Forget it. I refuse to negotiate with criminals. Have it your way. Go ahead. A quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> Donna says no. What, I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> now you have me confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it, too, so far. How did that happen? Finally. My own tournament hand. May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. I want to play. Yeah, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Yeah, those are actually real tournament fingers. And they're not loaded. So, let's get started. So, how exactly does this work? The rules are quite complex, I must admit. But you really only need to remember three things. Scissors beats paper. Paper beats rock. And rock beats scissors. We only play with real tournament fingers. Any attempt to play with loaded fingers automatically counts as a lost round. Ha! <laughs> Got it. What's the stake, anyway? The winner gets to pick two fingers from the loser's hand. What? We play for fingers. What else? First person who has no fingers left to surrender after a lost round loses the game. I'm ready. Well then, lift your hand. One, two, three. Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round, so you need to surrender two fingers. What? So what did you think this was about? Get on with it. Put your hand on the table. You didn't stand a chance. I told you so. Wanna play again? Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round. So you need to surrender two fingers. What's that? Rock! You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. What the? You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh well. It ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There. You won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? What's that? Rock! You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. What's that? Rock! You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. Impossible. You... you... beat me! Haha! <laughs> Don't mess with Rufus! That's what I keep saying! Oh yeah! <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you. 
Well, be that as it may, I'm an honest player. And I keep my word. This is our secret knock. Can you remember that? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Can I hear it again? Uh, but you mustn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Nobody but gold. What was that? I need some alcohol now. Ah, me too. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Oopsie, I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem, as long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. How nice! It is done. We are resistance fighters. Really? Sure. I even know the secret knock. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? We have to go to Janosch and get our instructions. Last one, there's a rotten egg. But no, no, hey, hey, stop! Oh, rats. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. No, wait. That isn't the secret knock. Uh, I know. I just got it a little mixed up. The knock goes. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Wrong again. Beat it. Crap. It's just because of that snappy groove they play in the marketplace. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Ah, Garlic, did you get us that new recruit? Uh, sure. Finally, a new face after all these years. Janosch is gonna flip out. And a woman, too. Nobody's gonna laugh at us now. Just let me in, okay? Hmm, that could be right. Heh <laughs> finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knock. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? But that's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. Hmm. Huh. With my superb memory, I actually ought to remember how it goes. He did knock it once before. All right. What about it? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ah! I can't believe this. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ah! I can't believe this. What about it? <laughs> Weren't you gonna knock? Hey, that's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't see the humor in knock-knock jokes. Huh? There's nobody here, so it wasn't a knock-knock joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Lebo. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay, but only because it's you. Now I've got it.
Hey, that was right. Of course it was. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? Another a new recruit. At last. Our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> hmm. Just listen to you kickle. <laughs> stop it. No, wait. Don't stop. How can I stop if you never tell me what it is that you find so exceedingly humorous? <laughs> Bravo! Awesome! But th <laughs> Seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because, you know, I'm really looking for the hideout of the Resistance, not a carnival. You have come to the right place. True. Carnival was last week. What a joke. Gold's judgment must be on the other two cartridges. I don't like the way she looks at Yanosh. Her brain must be even more damaged than I feared. Huh, some group Yanosh has drummed up there. Actually, he didn't really drum. He fell on his bongos and we just wanted to see what the noise was. Huh, some group Yanosh has drummed up there. Have you planned any action for the future? Friday is karaoke night! Uh, actually, I was thinking about an operation that has something to do with the Organon. For example, an assassination attempt on Bailiff Argus? Just last week, Yanush distributed, uh, inflammatory pamphlets. Ugh, lame. But at least it's a start. Yeah. Unfortunately, he only made one copy, and I had to read over Garleff's shoulder. <laughs> I've had toothbrushes that resisted the Organon better. Why didn't you ever use them? Oh, hello, Rufus. Have you joined the Resistance too? That's me. Always in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> Let's go. Nothing's happening here anyway. But Janos said I need to stay here and fight for our grand cause. He's the leader after all, right? What do I have to do to make you come along? I'm so sorry, Rufus, but as long as Janosch is in charge here, I simply can't leave. How can he be in charge? You can barely understand a word he says. True genius can never really be understood. Oh. Janosch is an idiot. Janosch says one must be an idiot to go up against the Organon. In that case, he's probably overqualified. I would be a much better leader than Janosch. But Janosch has the master concept. Bah! Janosch doesn't even know how to pronounce concept. That's just because of his damaged tongue. He says it's an old injury that never healed properly. Did he eat too many chili dogs? 25 chili dogs in 10 minutes. Wow. See? He's as tough as they come. But your health is at stake. We need to repair your implant. Janosch says that when you fight for a good cause, you must be prepared to make sacrifices. Really? And what is he sacrificing? He's our leader. I'm sure he would lay down his life for every last one of us. Really? For me too? Can he please do that right away then? That would be great. Yes, Janosch is truly great. My concept is better than Janosch's. Really? But Janosch says his concept is the best. So how can yours be better? Just wait and see. This is so exciting. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm safe here with Janosch. <laughs> Greetings, Retreat. What's up? <laughs> the word is greetings with an S. That's what I said. Greetings with an S. 
You call yourselves a resistance cell? You look like a bunch of total losers to me. That may be your first impression, but the truth is, we're a fascism bunch. Yannis! What's a new friend like a glass of orange juice? No thanks, Mom! Feather for you again. Huh, you guys being venturesome? Well, at least we have a concept. So, what's your concept? We're sitting here discussing, snacking on ships, and questioning about the unfairness of being oppressed by the Organon. <laughs> and what exactly are you hoping to move that way? Move? Who said anything about moving? Well, isn't that sort of implied by the term underground movement? Oh, that, yes. Well, of course we are moving as well. <laughs> I wasn't talking about circling the sun and drifting away from the other tectonic plates. Oh, hmm. Your concept is crap. For crying out loud, you can't even pronounce the word concept properly. If you have a better concept, then let us know. I have come to pick up Gaul. Impossible. She must assist me with essential tactics. <laughs> she must what? Assist? Shay, are you shitting on your ears? Gaul is in urgent need of surgery. In the resistance, one has to make sacrifices. What if she suffers permanent brain damage? Then she will have suffered brain damage for she good coach. I've got a concept. A what? A concept. As in plan. Ah, a concept. For a second, I thought you said concept. But if you mean a concept, I'm very interested. Just insert your slidish into the projector. I've got a car for Justin. Don't tell me those are cardboard swords. What else? We are patty fishes. Gesundheit. I've got to go. It's your facilities are upstairs by the front door. FIFA La Revolution. The stage is set. The show can begin. That's supposed to be a plan? Oh, all I can do is laugh in disdain. They haven't even drawn in a giant eagle to rescue them from an exploding high-rise at the last second. If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. What is that all about? I'm taking matters into my own hands now. You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Shake, shake. With clear elocution. Shake. In short, someone who can go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station is charismatic enough. I was talking about myself, you dodos. Don't make me laugh. What could possibly qualify you for that kind of responsibility? What do you think? I've got a concept. Yes, oh yes, a slideshow. I bet this is going to be so exciting. Watch and learn. Oh, what is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything. A symbol. A shimble? How mysterious. The concept sounds pretty exciting already. Positively mystic, with just a hint of legend. Shut up, Leibold. And what does it symbolize? It shows what will become of us if we don't act right away. Wow, this is shocking. You're a pretty glib talker. But do you have any proof for your claim? I most certainly do. Here. What's that? An Organon bombing fort. Uh-huh, go on. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Yeah, okay, but what are we going to do to prevent it?
Our team will dare to attack. Do we now? And where would that be? I obtained topographical data locating one particular Organon fort. I remember. Keep talking. Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. But what shall we do about the other blast towers? Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. So far, I understand it all. Can you give us a brief summary? I will do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can do it myself. No, no, I will summarize this. Uh-oh. All right, whatever happens, don't laugh, Rufus. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. W what was that exactly? An Organon bombing fort. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Our team will dare to attack. So far, so good. And what is this? You obtain topographical data, locating one particular organ on fort. Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. Almost done. Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. You've understood everything. Bravo. That's all very well, but how does it help us? An Elysian inspector named Cletus is currently here on Deponia. Goal accompanied him. That's why she's here in the first place. Her codes serve to activate the last high boat in Porta Fisco that is supposed to take her back to Elysium. We have to let Elysium know that Deponia is actually inhabited. Therefore, I will take Goal to Elysium. But of course, you could try to sway the Council of Elders. Once they learn that Deponia is inhabited, they'll cancel the blast. But why should you of all people go to Elysium? Because I'm the spitting image of the inspector. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. But it's true. Rufus and Cletus could be twins. What a strange coincidence. And it gets even better. Argus's cruiser has docked at the blast tower I indicated. Its mission is to take Cletus and Goal to the high boat in Porta Fisco. During the attack, Goal and I can make use of the ensuing chaos to overwhelm Cletus, and then I will take his place. What do you say? Are you with me? That sounds very risky. But it's our only chance. Any more questions? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Long live Rufus, our spearhead! That was so cool! You made Janos look like a little idiot! <laughs> well, how else would he look compared to somebody my size? Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You were a lot like Cletus, but you lack his moody, spiteful side. That's true. Just thinking of that idiot really gets my dander up. And you're so clueless and bumbling, which makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Welcome again. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd... I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you. Platy Pooh. Wow. I suddenly feel so... Inspired? Elated? Moved? Sick. Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill.
I like your pretty face so well and your sweet platypussy smell. Into your eyes, I'm fondly gazing. You're not a platypus. Amazing! Your legs are short. Your nose is flat. I must admit, I fancy that. I like your pretty face so well and your sweet platypussy smell. Into your eyes, I'm fondly gazing. You're not a platypus. Amazing! Your legs are short. Your nose is flat. I must admit, I fancy that. I like your pretty face so well and your sweet platypussy smell. Hey, Dad. What is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus-free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes. You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? <sighs> got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. Not for me. For the lady! Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like... Orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes of course. You. Well? Are you well-versed in the lyrical arts? Sure! Well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? <laughs> he better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm gonna solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. What just happened? Oh, I must have been unconscious. Oh, no wonder with the air in here. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh?
Hmm? Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? Realizing that is part of knowing me. Just like living in constant fear of grievous bodily harm. <laughs> exactly. Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurants do you have in mind? And is it clean? It's an excellent establishment. Reputable location, fantastic view, and the cuisine is exquisite. Exquisite cuisine? What are they serving? Mud roast? Well, it's most certainly not platypus. No platypus. You're quite sure. Oh, yes. They've got everything except for platypus. All right. Why not? At this point, everything sounds fine to me, just as long as it gets me out of this dive. Go ahead, then. Ask me out. While I'm waiting. Hey, baby. Ugh. There he goes again. I give up. I'm afraid I already know you better than that. Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady, and, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. And the meter? What about that? No matter, as long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Not bad at all. It rhymes. The message is clear and the metaphors work well. And it even contains a few romantic keywords. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But th no! Go get her, tiger. Huh. I have a feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Knock, knock. Hmm? You again? I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Bad punzel, bad punzel, uh, ringle, wrangle, runzel. <clears throat> Not bad at all. It's original, it's bold, and it's got this certain uh, artistic opacity. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But th no! Go get her, tiger! Huh. I have the feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Knock, knock! Hmm? You again? I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Say that again? Uh, here am I, there are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But 
It's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Ah, <sighs> you'd better let Daddy do this. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. Uh, but first, let me give you a few more hints. From father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? Realizing that is part of knowing me. Just like living in constant fear of grievous bodily harm. <laughs> exactly. Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurants do you have in mind? And is it clean? It's an excellent establishment. Reputable location, fantastic view, and the cuisine is exquisite. Exquisite cuisine? What are they serving? Mud roast? Well, it's most certainly not platypus. No platypus. You're quite sure. Oh, yes. They've got everything except for platypus. All right. Why not? At this point, everything sounds fine to me, just as long as it gets me out of this dive. Go ahead, then. Ask me out. While well, I'm waiting. Wait here. I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Deponia. Lay aside certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Why didn't she show up? Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well ooh, start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. That louse! What's 
this. I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Whoa! I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter. That miserable old dirtbag! Crane! Crane! What is it? I found something! One last... No! Little! Don't say it! Memo! I need a... Radio! Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject, just give me the radio! Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. If that doesn't beat all. Stealing my date from right under my nose. Your own son. Excuse me? You're Rufus's father. He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh. I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuzak. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Huh? Look who's talking. Oh, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force, kicking and screaming? Just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this. Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze, dear. I, uh, uh. All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so going to rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Hello? Dad? Rufus, is that you? Get off the line now! I'm waiting for a radio message from my brother. Just get off the line, okay? You're bothering me, just like you always did. Hey, you know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh yeah, you'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Shh, it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? Ahem, the poem. Ahem, ahem. Go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You are cuter than a batting puss. You look just like a platypus. Uh oh. Ah, uh, uh, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very... noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <coughs> I 
I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. So, what's next on our agenda? Oh, well, since you seem to be at one with yourself once again, I suppose we could go ahead with the surgery. I feel a twinge of regret. I feel so much brighter without my boorish and starry-eyed parts. Ah, I could get used to the thought of dating three goals. What exactly makes you think this might constitute an adequate contribution to our conversation? What? It's just that I like every aspect of you, baby. Oh, we had better get on with that surgery. Hand me the cartridges. I'll go on ahead. Meet me in Doc's lab. She's into me! What's going on here? Janosch? Psst, I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? What is it that's going on in there? I mean, and what are you doing here anyway? We are putting your concept into practice. What do you think? My concept? Yes, you were completely right, of course. You cannot start a revolution by just shitting around doing nothing. Therefore, we are going to actively snatch the cartridges. Whoa, wait a minute. Those cartridges contain the mind of my girlfriend. Girlfriend? In your dreams, first off, go list a functionary of the resistance. So, of course she's going to sacrifice herself for the good cause. Sacrifice? Are you totally out of your mind? Unfortunately, another organization has become aware of the Extensions Codex, or could I say, an organization. What? Do you mean Donna? Precisely. The unorganized crime has holed up in Doc's lab. They took Doc and Girl hostage and are trying to extort free passage. But the revolution doesn't take kindly to extortion. As soon as the clock strikes the cruel hour, we will system the premises. Actually, Girl left us disturbing. Libo and I will hold this position. What? But that's completely insane. Um, so it is. I know these people. They'll stop at Nothing! You're just gonna get yourselves killed! Or me, as it is! Judge is the fate of a freedom fighter, always ready to die for the good cause. Please, don't act just yet. Maybe I can think of something. What will you do? What else? I'm going in there now. But the place is crawling with unorganized criminals. I can handle them. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Yes? Uh, Yoo-Hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon. But first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Janosch. What was that? Huh, I wonder what all these buttons do. Ah, I'll just push the biggest one. And zap! Oh, look at me. I completed an important mission. Yeah, any monkey could have done that. This sucks. What the? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. 
Not anymore. I'm more up to date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? But I look much younger than you do. What? You rotten baby face. Oh, I would love to give you the spanking you deserve. But I guess I can't because I'm already too senile for that. <laughs> Man, you're such a wimp. There's no way you can be me from the future. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Anybody could say that. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. But I'm not as ugly as you are. Not true. Not true. You're even uglier than me. So there. Ha! You just gave yourself away. I know I would have thought of a much cooler reply. I actually did. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Oh yeah, right. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Future self. What a load of bull. You don't get it, do you? Was I really that dense back then? You might as well give up, Cletus. I'm not Cletus. I come from the future, you, you absolute model. You're calling me an absolute model? Yup, because that's what you are. A stupid, retarded, absolute model. I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you. Exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait. I remember now. You're thinking of Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeebel Zoobel. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeebel Zoobel? Well, actually, it was... Uh... <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free goal, remember? Yeah, you know what? Why don't you simply do it yourself? Mm. Now, can we fast forward this bit? Because I need to hold the fort here. And why can't I hold the fort? Because I got the gun. But why don't you go rescue Goal and I take care of the rebels? Just, just trust me. You already did it earlier. So if you had done it right away, it would already have happened again over there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's totally logical. I grasped it the first time. Oh, yeah? Sure, me too. But I want that gun. We can't do that. When I was you, I also didn't get the gun until later. We need to do everything just the same way as before. I don't care, I want the gun. Why won't you get it? If I let you have the gun now, it would alter the timeline. I would dissolve and we would have to start over from the beginning. Well, stop being so selfish and give me that gun, will ya? If anyone is selfish here, it's you. Or have you rescued Goal already? If I had a gun, I'd do it in a jiffy. Well, I did it with my bare hands. If I don't get my gun right now, nothing's gonna happen here at all. You can have it as soon as Goal is free. 
Oh, well, I'll go rescue Gold then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sports. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. Blah, blah, blah. Kill, what are they doing? Oh! Doc! Goal! You're alive! What's going on? Rufus? What are you doing? Uh, just chilling. Killing? Bite out his eyes! That might not be necessary this time, boss. It's Rufus. He's one of us. What were you doing in Doc's asbestos cabinet? I, uh, needed some asbestos and accidentally got myself locked up. Really? You gotta be careful. I lost two ants that way. But I'm glad you're here. We're trapped here. Some weird extremists are after our ascension codes. Your ascension codes? We were just about to add them to our corporate inventory. That's why we have this crowbar. If they don't leave soon, we'll be forced to shoot our way out. Shoot them all! Tabula Raza! Wait! I've got a plan! Get on with it then. Wink's trigger finger is getting all itchy. Blasted nickel allergy. May I? Oh, mm. Super. Two more remotes. Great. That should get things moving. Let's see. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey, it says Donna. Oh, wow. So Donna has a brain implant, too. That should be useful. And on the other... Ha! Well, hello. This is the remote that future Rufus gave me earlier. The one that belongs to Liebold. Obviously, I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. Doc? Are you all right? Mm. Mm. Oh, right, the gag. Uh, there. Better now? Yes. Oh, peachy. Okay, then I can leave now, right? Yes. Well, you know, it's not like we couldn't use a little help. I see. What exactly happened? Came out of nowhere. Well, actually, they came through the door. They just overwhelmed us and took us prisoner. Apparently, they're after the Ascension Codes. You think so? Well, they did say things like, where are the Ascension Codes, and so on. I tried to explain that we can't give them the codes right now. They wouldn't listen. Any ideas? Alas, no. My hands are tied so to speak. Well, your hands are tied, actually. That, too. Perhaps Lady Gold can think of something. Her cartridge is still in the implant. This element on Donna's temple, is that also an implant? Yes, I mounted it myself. Why do you ask? I think I have a plan. I recommend that you get a second opinion. Just leave that to me. Do I have a choice? Nope. Let me try something. I would cross my fingers for you, but being tied up and all that. No problem. Hey, what the... Goal. Rufus, at last, you've got to get us out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster then. After all, you're the one who got me into this mess. Huh, so you're Lady Goal. And you are about to become Lady Rufus if you don't hurry up. What happened exactly? They were just suddenly there. Doc tried to defend me, almost like a real gentleman. A completely futile attempt. There were three of them. They were armed. Are you alright? Of course! We're having a picnic here. Really? With pancakes? That was sarcasm. Ah, yeah, I know. No pancakes there. Doc mentioned that Donna has an implant, too. What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment... Don't you dare!
I found this remote. I think it belongs to Donna. What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment. Don't you dare! Come on, please, give me that cartridge. I'll keep your dirty digits away from my implant. Haven't you messed with my mind enough today? <laughs> Can't get me out of your head, huh? Ugh. Actually, I could just take the cartridge. I I'm warning you! Really? What would you do? I could bite off your fingers for one thing. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Have you got a hole in your trachea? No. Want one? Wow! Doc keeps a bottle of champagne in his office. What? Where? Sorry, Gull. You'll thank me for this later. I wonder what part of her personality is on here. I bet it's her shapely butt. Oh, wow! So Donna has a brain implant, too. That should be useful. Obviously, I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. Hey, what are you doing? Nice body. Although the eye patch might impede my aim. Don't! No, it's fine, actually. Was that necessary? Did you have a better idea? Yes! Too late. Oh, well. One less worry, at least. Now all we have to do is subdue the rebels. All we need is a new... Don't say it. Plan. Oh. I can feel a flash of inspiration ambling in my general direction. Particles of ingenuity are wafting through the air. Hmm. Use vacuum cleaner engine with bubble gum? Perhaps later. Does it always have to be a complicated plan? I thought that's what you like about me. You seem to confuse me with Spunky Goal. Spunky Goal, but of course. I've got Liebold's remote, right? Everything is slowly falling into place. My past self is going to insert Spunky Goal in Liebold. She will then subdue Janosch while I take care of Garlef. And voila, we're out of here. Past self. What are you talking about? Can't we just leave the same way you came in here? No, we can't. Because of the, the temporal coherence and the, and the spatial thingamy and, and, and so forth. It's complicated. Isn't it always? Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Now, we need to find Spunky Gold's cartridge. Here, might as well take this one. Hey, awesome! You're not half bad. Only one third, actually. Just trust me, you go free the others. I'll take care of the rebels. But first, I'm gonna grab a gun. And I get Donna's remote. If it makes you happy. Oh man, this is gonna be so totally epic. Her old body looked a little better on her, but in principle, she can wear anything and still look terrific. We're so similar, it's scary. <laughs> Finally, I've got a gun, too. <laughs> and who's the better man now, huh? Stupid future Rufus. Oops. <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. No future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. Oops. <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. 
<laughs> no future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up. Otherwise, I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh, Yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon. But first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. Whew, good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm. Huh. One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Well then, let's do it. Cool. Now what? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures, and this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? Huh. I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble Zooble? Well, actually, it was... Uh... <clears throat> hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the rebels. Whoa. Is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm going to dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. All right, what a hero. I'm gonna be someone. Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience, and nobody beats me at that. Patience. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike! Ouch. That the clock is striking the error. And right on the spot. It's time for your grand entrance, darling. Uh, 
you always really have to. Quick question. Usually it's you who feels it's what people to choose. But usually it's only about who fetches a fresh bag of chips. Stop trying to make excuses. One for all. And today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the Ascension Codes. Turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. Well, sometimes. What the? It's jammed? Ah, tough luck. Or not. Rufus? Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh well, why not? You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could! Doc, why are you still trussed up? Lady Goal was supposed to untie you! But she didn't. She escaped to the future through the portal. She did what? Uh, uh, no problem. Spunky Goal is still outside, in Lee Bold's body. She'll make Lady Goal see reason. That wasn't Spunky Goal. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Lee Bold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote! Oh, oh my. That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Gorleth and to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity. I... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again, it's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together, save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But what about your surgery? We need to put you back together again. What for? So I will be flooded with doubt again? No thanks, Rufus. But Cletus is a snotty jerk! Cletus is not a bad person, Rufus. At least no worse than I am. And certainly no worse than you. I'm a thousand times better than that pretty boy. At least you would like to be. I forgave you for splitting my mind, for lying to me, for repeatedly putting me in harm's way. And I forgave Cletus for trying to erase my memory. Now you need to forgive me. But we were going to save the world together. That may be true for Spunky Goal and Baby Goal, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home before it's too late. But I want to go to Elysium with you. Do you really want to do that? I know you've got something to prove. Because you grew up in the garbage. Because nobody ever believed in you. But would you really be happy if you achieved your goal? No more adventures? No more plans? I don't think so.
But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away, and there is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there, the destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... Uh, a starship? Now do you finally understand? If Deponi is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. So, Elysium is a starship? You've got it! Our fathers constructed Elysium so Deponia could be evacuated, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But there was only room for a lucky few. They couldn't take everyone. Well, what's so great about this Utopia? The grass is fresh and green. The sky is blue. The water runs clear. In other words, it is not... Deponia. Why is this all happening now? Elysium wasn't designed to float in the atmosphere forever. It took the Organon decades to build the required blast towers. They are distributed all over the planet, and now, Everything's ready. Ulysses people stuck to their schedule. Elysium needs to be launched now, or it's going to fall back onto the planet. What if the Council of Elders knew that Deponia was inhabited? I don't know. Part of me always believed they would stop the blast then, but that was starry-eyed goal. Okay, I think I understand now, but... But what? But I still don't get it! Is it really that hard to understand? It wouldn't be if you could explain it better! Okay, I think I understand now, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, onto Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. It's gonna be a bit of work. So what? I've made my mind up, Rufus. I'm sorry. There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry! Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's gonna kill us all! I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to the drama Scarza's fresh doubts in her horse disarray And she left him behind, though still not in one mind 
and then go reunite with her fierce fiancé. But if you think it's time for a fuss to resign, so close to the finish line, you don't know him at all. For heroes gather momentum on the brink of the maggot on a squall by the squall, they put balls to the wall. Rufus! Hmm. Ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosh, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side, like way back then. They back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a visit. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Yeah, well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last? What kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watchet. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watchet. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough. I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench? I like them. They're like me, always against the flow. Huh, that reminds me of my superb trick with the field kitchen. He seems somehow familiar. Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. Uh, is that necessary? 
Why, isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well-versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 please don't do that. Hey-ho, my brother. What's up in the hood? Please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, yeah. now I understand. This is some sort of a social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it, but not, not quite. I will admit, your stink is authentic. But as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objection. I insist. You look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living off the algae that grow on the key wall. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort, but <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. So, so what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said wrong. No, bums eat shoes. What? Shoes, everyone knows that. Are you still hungry? Yes. Do you have anything for me to eat? <laughs> now that's the way I like it. Begging is very authentic. But I'm really, really hungry. No, 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 don't overdo it. First, internalize this lesson. Okay, I'll explain how to eat a shoe later. Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> Very funny. You don't exactly smell of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchid delias are. So keep it cool, okay? Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the quay can sometimes be quite unpleasant. Yet, don't worry, I'm not going to take it away from you. I'm just going to make a couple of modifications. It just, it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? There, that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. Yet, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. Can I borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you break it, and now you want to take it away from me? Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role. Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You... you would really do that for me? Of course. I told you I was a philanthropist. We could practice a little freestyling. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this. Oom, um, a chew. Oom, um, um, a chew. Oom, um, a chew. And now, you. Oom, um, a chew. Oom, um, oom, um, a chew. Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove, yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied, he's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Baum. Baum. Hey, hey, hey. What? What? Huh? What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song, you bum. 
you didn't happen to see a submersible go by here. No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Wait a minute! You don't have a winter home! That was sarcasm! <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. Yeah, okay. No more sarcasm. All right, bums, don't use sarcasm. Can you tell me a few things about Porta Fisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? Who lives in the tent? Oh, that is the tent of the seer. An astounding fellow. They say he can predict the future. <laughs> he doesn't know property values in the real estate market, for one thing. He used to be a wealthy man. They said he could even predict lottery numbers, but his business isn't doing so well anymore. That's why he switched to couples counseling. He gives relationship advice? Why not? He's got the ideal qualifications for it. A psychology degree? A crystal ball. How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. Do you know where I can find the Rebels' secret hideout? Huh? Sure. The entrance is right here in the sewers. No, no, I meant the secret hideout. I only know this one here. Isn't Porta Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension Station. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high boats. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows? Maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Porta Fisco. Then all of Porta Fisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Uh, pardon me. That's it. Uh, boring, I think. Huh. I can't say I found this story all that boring. Okay, let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. A Port of Fisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. Smell you later, and remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. What a waste. That could have been turned into a fantastic escape mechanism. Or a high-speed cheese grater. That's one of those handy slots where you can insert power inverters. Hmm. Yes? It's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It, uh, starts with N, right? Ha! Good luck! Wrong, but wrong. Blast it! Wrong, but wrong. Blast it!
Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janlish is expecting you. Rufus, pleased to see you. Janosh, wow. What you built up here is... It's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah, why am I only number two? But now, we have won more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Also, that is counting the three train door with Ashley. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Ah, I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. There's no more diesel. Alas. Actually, we needed to run the turbine in the sewers. Luckily for us, the winds out there are offshore right now. As soon as the wind turns, the stinking here becomes unbearable. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. You even have a kitchen? Certainly. We have to supply our troops somehow. Wow. That's more than I would have expected of you. What do you think? We aren't just playing around. What's a new friend like an orange juice, Janos? Not now, Mama. Hey, you. Should Uncle Rufus teach you a couple of tricks? Hmm? Oh, they're so happy. Sweet. Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. <laughs> My dolphinese is so accent-free, it leaves them speechless. I'm not surprised she came crawling back to me. Well, bad luck, Tony. I've got a real girlfriend now. Well. Well, look who came toddling after me. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Goal. And where is Goal? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. Goal is waiting outside, and she's in good health. At least two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. 
How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me. <laughs> well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuer syndrome. Call it what you want. I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. I can't argue with that. Great to have you here. Beat it. Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you still dream of me. I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. Oh. You won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. How did you know that? Because that's the way this conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say, But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. Darn it. The a dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Janosch. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say, number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit. Oh, aye, aye, boss. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. Oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting. Recruit. You cannot be serious. Yanosh. Recruit! You're out of your minds. I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, Recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it. Drop and give me 20, Recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could be the death of one of our comrades. You miserable! Uh-oh. <laughs> and do you enjoy working under my wise leadership? <laughs> I have a couple of questions about the dolphins. Uh, no, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But... Why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those aren't torpedo dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Oh, how cute. There. What was that? W what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get away from the pool. Yes, all right, all right. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious, I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Not where you're thinking. 
<laughs> That's a relief. Janosch sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. I need the dolphins' help for my hunt. No way! Oh, Tony, please! This is important! He's right, 26. Rufus needs your dolphins more than we do. All right. But right now, you won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me! I'm Tony! My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins! <laughs> oh, yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. You know, I think we should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry for tuna. And my ulcer is acting up again. I have to go. I have important things to do. Bleeding and whatnot. What? No cynical final remarks? I thought I'd try something else. I hoped maybe it would make you disappear faster. Heh, <laughs> didn't work, did it? Nope. That just screams for a brilliant maneuver. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Huh. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polishing. Salana Iyong Ayeses! What was that? What do you think? I speak Dolphinese. Save your breath. They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. Looks like the Organon has sealed off this city. I would call that a challenge. Unfortunately, I have other problems at the moment. You got lucky, Organon. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. Janosh is having torpedo dolphins trained in his rebel camp. Is that some sort of dirty metaphor? Uh, no, I mean that literally. Hmm, pity. What's that funky smell? I hope it isn't you. No, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's what I would have said in your place. Yeah, to distract suspicion away from you. Why should I? I smell fantastic. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <coughs> it's yeah, that yeah, it's, back it's that bum Subject over there, closed. no doubt. I wonder who lives in that tent up there. Probably another poor lunatic. Yeah, lots of those around here. Roughly three per trawler. 
No sign of Donna Goal. You aren't really making much of an effort, are you? Hey, I'm saving my energy for upcoming challenges. And what if the challenges don't come? Trust me, they're on their way. They're massing for a surprise attack. In the end, all our plans will be foiled, and nothing but an extremely risky coup can save us. And it always works like that? Every time. Cool. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent! My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. You are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes, I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. Art. I possess the third eye, yes, but I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings to yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. Say what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times, and so you gave up fortune-telling? But no I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. Will I succeed in saving the world? The future is not yet written, Rufus, except in my journal, of course. I will be very busy next month, so I get a little ahead of myself. Why do you live in a tent? My customers expect a mystical ambience. It is also practical. In the event of a catastrophe, I can pack all my belongings together in a matter of minutes. W wait what sort of catastrophe? Oops. Um, the fabric of time is in constant motion. A veil lies across the future. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uncertainty plays naked on the bongos. There is no gasoline for setting Nav's chainsaw. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, don't change the subject. What sort of catastrophe? Ooh, ooh. <sighs> Darn it. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless. Believe me. I really don't want your bananas. Ugh, boring. Resign yourself to the inevitable and take the bananas already. They are tasty. Luscious banana. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Ah. It is time. The time of the great banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Go on. Accept your fate. No, never. Go on. Take them. Help yourself. No! <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. <laughs> I could have just left them, but with a banana in hand, it's a lot easier to play a trick on fate. Or alternatively, inattentive sewer workers. There's one thing he didn't foresee, the consequences of wearing hats.
It fits. Hmm. This was bound to happen. The tank is empty. Lousy weather. We should make sure we finish up here as quickly as possible. The crust on my overcoat is starting to dissolve. It drives a pump that removes the leaking diesel from the water. Wait a minute. The diesel is leaking out of the generator's exhaust pipe. Astounding. A closed sewage system. Here's a tank for diesel. Ouch! Ah! As long as the generator is on, it's too hot to fiddle with. I'll have to put it out of commission somehow. The diesel is leaking out of the generator. Astounding. Oily water comes out of the tap. Oh, great. I found the problem. The transmitter is broken. Then what are we waiting for? Off to dock with it. Hmm. The radio mast seems to mock the lightning. And that seems to make the lightning even angrier. <laughs> Stupid weather. Well then, let's do it. Ow! Hey, Goal. Everything okay? Boring. What are we doing here anyway? Don't worry. It's all part of the plan. So much thunder in the air. <laughs> Don't pee your pants. The chances of being struck by lightning are about as high as winning the lottery. Dak. <laughs> Statistics are for people who don't want to take any risks. <laughs> True. So how are we going to get this radio mast repaired? Why are you asking me? You're supposed to be the tinkerer here. Well, I am. Oh, really? Then what's broken? Well, uh, <laughs> the, the, the thingies here are, are uh, really loose. And, and the, the, the electric um, shoes are, are, are mislaced and have, have an electric double knot on the, uh, <laughs> the uh, electro loop. <laughs> I found the problem. The transmitter is broken. Then what are we waiting for? Off to dock with it. Why, Doc? I'm a tinkerer too. And I always thought you could only break things. Hey, watch out, or I'm going to break your heart. <laughs> I keep getting hit by lightning. Oh, you aren't doing that on purpose? Why would I get struck by lightning on purpose? Well, to cheer me up perhaps? Or are you really that stupid? Yeah, you fell for it. Of course, I'm only doing it as a joke. Well then, do it again. <laughs> Yiffy. I've got a plan. Can you stand on that plateau over there for a minute? Well, why not? What could possibly be wrong with standing on an elevated platform in a thunderstorm? 
So you'll do it? Heavens no! How naive do you think I am? Next, you're going to put a bucket of water there for my feet. Or hand me an umbrella, Rufus. Just a moment. Naive. Bucket of water. Umbrella. You aren't planning to use me as a human lightning rod, are you? No, <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. All right, wait. Wouldn't dream of it. But when you're awake... Too late. Drat! I've got a plan. Can you stand on that plateau over there for a minute? Well, why not? What could possibly be wrong with standing on an elevated platform in a thunderstorm? So you'll do it? Heavens no! How naive do you think I am? Next, you're going to put a bucket of water there for my feet. Or hand me an umbrella, Rufus. Just a moment. Mm, naive. Bucket of water. Umbrella. You aren't planning to use me as a human lightning rod, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. All right, wait. Wouldn't dream of it. But when you're awake... Too late. Drat. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. What are you doing there? I'm extending the range of the radar. But not like that. The transmitter has to go back on the radio mast. Oh, yeah? And how do you explain that? Wonky. Hmm. That could be due to the mushrooms in the casserole. Even though I scraped those fresh off the bow? I went to the radio mast. The transmitter is broken. How do you know? Oh, I found it lying at the foot of the radio antenna. It's fried. So it is. You're right. Oh, I know a fried piece of electronics when I see one. Even when your signature is missing? Can you repair it? I already did. Well, why did you take so long? Mainly because of the lollipop stick that was stuck between the contacts. At any rate, the device is working now. All you need to do is mount it at the top of the radio mast. Easy peasy. I could have done that at least as well. What? That's supposed to be the pole? Lonzo puts more ice in the drinks when he wants to save alcohol. What a disappointment. The sign is bigger than the pole. He obviously thinks he's the coolest. I could really use a torch like that. But to get it, I'll need something to melt the ice. Some sort of, hmm, I don't know, portable fire. Bummer. I could really use it to get some sort of portable f bummer. Oh crap, the button is frozen. No wonder the pizza guy never showed up. Wow. The last time I could see the stars this clearly in Kuvak, I was nine. I probably shouldn't have removed the filter from the town's trash-burning generator. This could be useful. I'll take it.
What kind of tea is this, anyway? Kidney tea. It warms you up. And it's good for your bladder, but you shouldn't drink too much of it. Why? I have an extraordinarily large bladder. Careful. Tea's hot. Did I just hear a challenge? No, I... Oh! Ouch! Ooh! Darn it. I warned you. What are you making? Iced tea. But the tea was against the cold. So? I don't believe in wasting food. And I still had to watch you throw away the fries I stuck up your nose during the night. Now it should be all right. Don't do it. The tea is... Hot? Hardly. No. I mean it's also... Weak. Uh-oh. It's true what they say. You just can't stop the melting at the poles. I'm sure he won't mind. It didn't do him much good anyway. All shipshape, mate? Actually, the correct address would be Captain. Yeah, we can talk about your promotion later. First, I've got a couple of questions. Can't this tub go any faster? We'll never catch up to Donna Gold this way. That's no way to talk about my trawler. She's one of the most reliable freighters on the Rust Red Sea. She may not look like much on the outside, but... But, oh, her inner beauty! Sorry, Bozo, but I overheard Tony often enough trying to set up her cousins with someone. I notice right away when someone's trying to sugarcoat a slug. She's not a slug. She's big bones, that's all! What good is the fastest vessel if we don't even know where our target is? That's beside the point. We use the same fine line to fix up Dottie May and Broomstick Budwin. Four weeks later, everyone called him Vacuum Hose Budwin. So, what do we know now? No idea. The submersible seems to have dived. We'll never find it. Unless you can mount an underwater search party. What about a pod of trained torpedo dolphins? Uh, wasn't it your girlfriend who's no longer in her right mind? All is fair in love and war. So, what do we know now? No idea. The submersible seems to have dived. We'll never find it. Unless you can mount an underwater search party. What about a pod of trained torpedo dolphins? Uh... Wasn't it your girlfriend who's no longer in her right mind? All is fair in love and war. Do I get to steer too? Uh, I don't know. Do I get to run around like a madman then and get us involved in a series of disasters? Was that a yes? That was a go jump in the lake. Back to work, sailor! Hey. I'm still the captain of this ship. Say what? This is outright scrutiny. Mutiny. No screw. Just, you, just stay focused, sailor. Just because there's a woman on board, we must not allow our thoughts to wander. Ah, Rufus. Found any trace of that submersible yet? I'm working on it. And you're really sure you can put gold back together? Of course. I just need the third cartridge. The one that's in Donna's implant? Exactly. The rest will be child's play. Although the sea is anything but calm, perhaps I should think about adding some stabilizers to the bone saw. Would you happen to know if gold is a hemophiliac? I know you can do it. Isla, watch it. Now that sounds inviting. I hope you're wearing your long johns. The island lies in the center of a permanent storm system. Oh, come on. I'm not afraid of a little bit of weather. But you should be. Remember, you'll be working on electrical installations on top of a radio mast in a thunderstorm. Oh, so what? He wouldn't believe all the hazard warnings I've ignored so far. Have you got any idea how we might capture Donna? I suggest we travel to Isla Watch It. There's an old radio mast there. If we modify the transmitter just a little, 
We might be able to track the submersible. I can't get up the radio mast. Can't help you there, I'm afraid. I've been working on a remedy for flat feet for years, but I can't get my hands on enough donated organs. My feet aren't flat. It's the lightning. Every time I climb the mast, one of those meteorological bullies shows up and knocks me over the head. Every time? You're more likely to win the lottery. <laughs> that would be more fun. Would you happen to know where I can get some torpedo equipment? The only torpedo equipment I know about is the main prize in Gilligan's Lottery. Unfortunately, the gadget shop is already closed for today. Okay, so I need to burglarize the place and win the lottery. Anything else? Can't you ever leave a hopeless situation alone when you see one? You can't force your luck. Maybe you can't, or maybe you're just not using enough force. I'll carry on then. Keep me posted. Hey, Gol. Everything okay? Except for the fact that you steered us straight into the eternal ice. At least I didn't steer us into an iceberg. But you did! Yeah, and why can't I remember that? Probably because you were hit on the head by a refrigerator when the polar bears attacked us. Huh. I seem to have missed a few things. You certainly did. It was pretty cool. It really is very cold here. <laughs> you weakling. Can't you even stand a little cold? Yeah, more than you. Oh, really? Really. There's only one way to find out. Ice, Ice swimming. swimming! Ice swimming? Wait, that's dangerous. Hey. Eh. Why am I getting so upset? I can still dream of my happy place. Mm. Happy, happy, happy. I said no icebergs below the belt. Can't help it if you mumble. <sighs> hey, Bozo, you should check your propeller. Some lunatic tied a penguin to it. No problem. I'll take care of it later. But be careful. You might ruin our slide. Mm. Have you seen the stars? Focus on your job instead, Mr. Head in the Clouds. I have to defend Rufus. Once upon a time, seafarers used to orient themselves by the stars. Exactly. I wanted to orient myself by the stars and not be enchanted by their twinkling. What are we doing here anyway? Shouldn't you know the answer to that, as you're the one who guided us here? Yes, but... I mean, you know how things are. Every task breaks into subtasks, which in turn break into more subtasks. It's easy to get lost somewhere in there. Ah, I see. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. What was that? That's my new jingle. Hmm. Needs a little bass if you ask me. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm cold. <laughs> Even though you're so hot. <laughs> oh, dear. Perhaps I'm running a fever. Even though I always eat my veggies like a good girl. It really is very cold here. If you want to warm up... Yes? Drink some tea. Eh. But be careful. It's very hot. There's time enough to be careful when we're dead, babe. Have you had any of the tea? Only a little. It's still very hot. Hey, nothing's too hot for me, babe. You shouldn't drink too much tea anyway. It's very weak. And someone flooded the toilet. But that someone now also knows what direction the water spirals when you flush over the pole. And that it doesn't spiral at all if you stuff Doc's Long John's down there. 
Have you seen the stars? You want to look at the stars with me? Oh, that is so romantic. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said it. And not because I want to erase some things from your diary in the meantime. You're sweet. What are we doing here anyway? I don't know what you're doing, but I'm freezing. Yeah, too bad I threw the chest with the electric blankets overboard. Why exactly did you do that? Hey, you stay out of this. I'm not asking you why, why you went off your diet. That was mean. On we go. I'll follow you anywhere. Huh, that reminds me of my superb trick with the field kitchen. <laughs> Rufus have fire. <gasps> These tires are worn out and boring, but if they were burning... What's better than a mountain of tires? Right, a mountain of burning tires! <laughs> The burning tire is sort of my heraldic animal. All that's missing are the vampire fangs. <laughs> the good old banana in the exhaust trick. It may look like I was standing on the hose, but in reality, that rotten hose stuffed itself under my feet to make me look bad. I should be able to siphon off some diesel with that. Uh, yum! <coughs> Tasty. Now I need to hurry and find a proper container. It's all running into the sea. That is probably the most boring container for transporting diesel that I could come up with. But it's better than nothing. That is probably the most... Today is not your lucky day, Seagull. My people rummaged through every pile of garbage, but they found no trace of the girl. She was here. Why would I lie to you? I don't know. You appear to suffer from an inflated ego, just like your son. Rufus is not my son. You can do whatever you want with him. But we had a deal. You wanted a tip, and I gave you one. Can I help it if your people are totally incompetent? You are wasting my time. And I can't stand it when my time is being wasted. Hey you! Tone it down a bit! You're scaring the fish! I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I want every nook and cranny of this junk pile turned inside out once more and close off all access to the harbor. Even if a rat tries to get out of here, I want to know.
That was Argus with his bloodhounds. So the Organon is already after us. Shh. He's right. We need to be careful. <laughs> He's doing his best to seem relaxed, but my trained eyes see right through the charade. How's it going? Shh! Stop raising such a ruckus. Well, let me worry about that. I'm not afraid of the Organon. Good for you, but please go crow about that somewhere else. Too noisy. Scaring the fish. Oh, get off it. You're afraid of the Organon, too. Just get lost. I thought you said you weren't afraid. Uh, that's right, I'm not. And the fact that the floating black market is under attack doesn't bother you? Not in the least. The only thing that's bothering me is you. If you're not afraid, then why did you stop fishing? Guess why? <laughs> you're trembling all over. Your palms are sweaty. Telltale signs that you're scared. Wrong! The problem's you. Whenever you're in the vicinity, all I catch is boots. So, scram! Could you please catch a boot for me? What a dumb thing to ask. If word gets around, they might boot me out of the fishing association. Is that the biggest of your worries? The fishing association? No, not with you around. I won't go away until you catch me a boot. You waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety wimp. I'm a fisherman. I once solved Gilligan's cube by just waiting until all the colors had faded. Was that a challenge? No. It was a demand for unconditional surrender. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. I have never, ever given up. Yeah, we'll see. Your feet will rot before I lose my patience. Ha 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 ha! Told you so. You're no match for the patience of a fisherman. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm, uh, I'm uh, b bowing before Neptune. Or, uh, isn't that him? What? Where? Are you mocking me? Mocking, robbing, something like that, yeah. It occurs to me that I always have bait in my inventory. But it sure is tasty. I'll try pushing it open. The door was firmly locked. I'll try pushing it open. The door was firmly locked. Why is the food bowl out here when the cat is locked up inside? Either someone is acting out their sadism, or the cat knows a secret way to get outside. That's Gilligan's cat. Hmm, I wonder if it knows a secret way into the gadget shop. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty. Show Uncle Rufus the secret way into the gadget shop. And it's not listening. Which is obviously due to the fact that cats, in general, have very poor hearing. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty. Look what yummies I have here. Huh, the cat doesn't seem to be interested in this. How sad. It probably only eats tuna. Then it can't complain when it starves. I can almost hear it calling. Help! Oh, I'm dying! Stop it. Oh, meow! Help! Oh, oh. Tell my family! I said stop it, okay?
The tank is full again. Time for a little turbine action. Vapors that terrible stink come from all hands to the air freshener trees. Huh, Willow. What was that goal said? Willows are especially dangerous. Uh, good thing they're out of maple and rhododendron. What's that supposed to be? Um, nothing. I want to teach the baby dolphins a couple of tricks. You want to do what? Oh, did I say teach? Show. Of course, I meant show. I want to show them a couple of tricks to cheer them up. I don't want them to end up depressed like their parents. If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. The nice lady didn't say that. Once she sees how great you are at jumping through the burning hoops, she'll be blown away. Let's go, Ali. You. Hmm. They still need a little incentive. Yes, that's the way I can teach the dolphins the hoop trick. Oh boy, Tony will be so impressed. I can hardly wait to show her who's the real dolphin trainer around here. Here, fishy, fishy. On the other hand, Tony seems to be really busy right now. Huh? Where did that come from? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty. Look what yummies I have here. Soon, we will see why the food bowl is outside, although the cat is locked up inside. It can't be both inside and not inside at the same time. Unless, of course, unless, of course, this is a Schrodinger cat. Quantum mechanical zombies. Not really dead. Not really alive. Take cover, Goal. What? I just unleashed the overwhelming force of wave particle dualism. <laughs> What's wrong? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just solved the greatest mystery of quantum mechanics. There's a cat flap. I may be as agile as a cat, but unfortunately, I'm also as muscular as a lion. Huh. With my broad shoulders, I'd never fit through that narrow flap. Ah, finally. Did I miss anything? Hmm. Do you still remember how I protected you from that dragon? Uh, let me put that another way. Did I miss anything that didn't happen just inside your head? Huh? Where else? Hey, Goal. Everything okay? Well, one third of my mind has fled. The Orbanon is occupying the floating black market. And if we don't do something soon, Ulysses will blow up the planet right under our feet. I told you this would be fun. I thought you were just bragging. 
We have to get into the gadget shop. The Organon occupies the floating black market, and the first thing you think of is a looting spree? Uh, actually, the first thing I thought of was arson. Arson? Stupid idea, I know. And how? The roofs are much too wet. Can you fit through the cat flap? <laughs> You're too fat, aren't you? Hey, that, that's all muscle. Wanna touch it? Ugh, no thanks. I don't want to catch Woblitis. Nothing's wobbly. The light is just bad. Step aside, Bubba. I'll show you how it's done. I don't know. Can you do it again? I was uh, <laughs> a little distracted. Forget it. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. The only thing that's still active is the little scanner there. Huh, I wonder what it's for. The top prize is some fully functional torpedo equipment. Oh boy, just what I've always wanted. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck. All you need is an infallible system. Huh, the lotto map doesn't seem to understand my system. It's about time somebody invented that. <laughs> Fantastic. But that is really the last time I helped Mother Nature iron out the wrinkles in her design problems. Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're into squalor. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Says the woman with little damage. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Ah, oh, fortune teller. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg! Next year already? So, it is written. It's because of the head. Heralds need to breathe too. Oh. There he is. Hey, what were you two talking about? Nothing. Let us begin. So, what do you want? How do I prevent Goal from marrying Cletus? What? You aren't a couple? This is couples counseling. I only answer questions relating to your partnership. Oh, yeah. Let me rephrase that. What does our future together look like? Tricky. I should ask the ball. I see. That you still have a long, difficult path before you. Before us? Don't you mean behind us? Are you holding the ball the right way around? Um, I think so. At any rate, there is an arrow on the bottom. This side up, it says here. So there's still a long road ahead of us. That's great, as long as we're together.
You know what? Let's end the session. This isn't getting us anywhere. Oh, too bad. Come back once you've reconsidered. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Ah, oh, fortune teller. Wow. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg. One should never wear under fortune. Oh, there he is. Ah, this is all humbug. You're holding the ball upside down. I'm afraid not. Here, you are welcome to take a look for yourself. Not again. But this time will be better. Promise. And here comes the new question. What was that about our health again? Whew. You don't want to know. Believe me. I must urgently advise you to stay as far away from each other as possible. This is humbug. Let's get out of here. No, j j just a minute. What was that about our sunset years? I don't know. The ball suddenly went dark. This has never happened before. This guy is starting to drive me crazy! May I slap him? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. But uh, hold off on that for a sec. What was that about our wealth? Oh, you will be rich. Rich in experience, provided you survive all this. That's enough. I can't take any more of this. What? How about now? We want to hear lottery numbers. Otherwise, I'll tell you what I can read from entrails. Oh, wait a moment. I haven't said everything yet. The ball isn't telling me the numbers, but it says they are written in the stars. That is bound to help you. Please, don't hit me. Huh. If this tip doesn't pay off, you'll be seeing stars. I promise you that. The guru said the lottery numbers were in the stars. I wonder what he meant by that. Ah, maybe he meant that. Guru was right after all. Now I'm almost sorry about what I scribbled on his diploma in the ante room. Guru was right after all. Now I'm almost sorry about what I scribbled on his diploma in the ante room. The top prize is some fully functional torpedo equipment. Oh boy, just what I've always wanted. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck, only with threatening a seer with physical violence. 
<laughs> Bingo! Playing the lottery has nothing only with threat. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck, only with threatening a seer with physical violence. Hey you! I want to pick up my winnings! I... <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. It worked. How's it going? Get lost. I want to keep on fishing. Oh, come on. Catch me a boots. Forget it. I'm a fisherman. I catch fish. Any kind of fish? Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. Fish with laces? Nope. Oh, damn. I won't go away until you catch me a boot. You waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety wimp. I'm a fisherman. I once solved Gilligan's cube by just waiting until all the colors had faded. Was that a challenge? No, it was a demand for unconditional surrender. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. I have never, ever given up. Yeah, we'll see. Your feet will rot before I lose my patience. Ha ha ha! Told you so. You're no match for the patience of a fisherman. How's it going? Get lost. I want to keep on fishing. A boot is really a nice thing to have, you know. Not on my hook. I won't go away until you catch me a boot. You waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety wimp. I'm a fisherman. I once solved Gilligan's cube by just waiting until all the colors had faded. Was that a challenge? No, it was a demand for unconditional surrender. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. I have never, ever given up. Yeah, we'll see. Your feet will rot before I lose my patience. Is this really necessary, Rufus? You stay out of this. It's important. Oh, good grief. Come on, Rufus. I'm cold. Never. Please, Rufus, I'm cold. Let's go. Did you hear that? The girl's cold. Nice try, buddy. Rufus, I'm freezing to death. Holy mackerel, you take care of the girl already? She's wearing nothing but PJs. Tragic, isn't it? Okay, okay. I give up. I can't bear to see her suffer. Here's your stupid boot. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> you see, Goal? I won! A worn-out boot! Impressive, huh? My hero. I admit it. It's junk. But it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. I think I might have something for you to eat.
Really? Wow, I don't know what to say. No, 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 not so fast. I want to suggest a trade. I'll give you the food, and you give me your umbrella. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's the only thing I still own. Oh, num, 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 num. Yummy food. Oh, all right. Agreed. Hey, wait a minute. That's just a broken shoe. Exactly. The appropriate food for a trade like you. What? But... That's... No, no, no. Thank me later. Bon appetit. I admit it. It's junk. But it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. Oh, this is really the coolest item I have ever had. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Huh. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polishing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Hey, what's the big idea? You're supposed to... Said I know something about intelligent comedy. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy. What was that? What do you think? I'm freeing the poor fish from your tyranny. Those aren't fish. They're highly intelligent sea mammals. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, anyone who isn't outside in five seconds stays with Tony. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They really are highly intelligent. They can hardly wait, just like me. Every trained sea mammal that is ready to fire torpedoes at my fleeing girlfriend, raise your fin. Make Daddy proud. The perfect spot for my jacuzzi. Oh, great. Only oily water comes out of the tap. Just what I needed. An island in the middle of the sea. Huh, the air freshener tree smells of willow. Ah, oh, what the heck. You should never open an umbrella in a thunderstorm. Hey, Gold. Everything okay? Not really. I'm afraid of thunder. I'm here. All is well. Can you stand in the waiting pool again? Of course. 
And now? Wait for it. If my plan works, then you should soon see <laughs> the light. <laughs> because you'll be hit by lightning. <laughs> what? Uh, d don't move. I'll be right back. How nice. You are a real friend. Yeah, wait. Don't talk. And now? Wait for it. If my plan works, then you should soon see <laughs> the light. <laughs> because you'll be hit by lightning. <laughs> what? Here, you'll need this. Wow, we won the lottery. What were the odds? About as high as being struck by lightning. So lucky. It's hard to believe. Hey, that worked really well. What, what, what worked well? Aren't you even paying attention while I risk my life here? S -s Sorry, I, I, I must have blinked for a second. The torpedo dolphins are ready, and I know the position of the submersible, so that's it then. Let the hunt begin! I just have to send a single dolphin to the grid square where the submersible is, and then... Chop chop! Slap! Help! What? No! Damn it!
you think the fact that I use torpedoes to cause a part of her to capsize might negatively affect my chances with Gold? Normally one would assume that, yes. After all, half of her is a third of your girlfriend, or whatever you might call your relationship. We probably need to invent a new term for it. <laughs> a dramedy of errors. That's a scare gull. A scarecrow against seagulls. Wow. And I thought it was my old diving suit. Hey, I'm not paying you to think. Actually, you're not paying me for anything. Which includes thinking. That fishing pole must take a really big worm. Dang it. Closed. Too closed for my taste. I'll find another way. That's a scare gull. A scarecrow against seagulls. A lousy candle? With this Stone Age equipment, I ought to be glad the others don't have to row. It fits. What are you planning to do? I'm going down there now. Maybe there's a back door. In a submersible? Sounds rather illogical. Yeah, but as I'm sure you know, the laws of logic have no effect underwater. Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> now stop this underwater claptrap and just lower me down, okay? All right. It's your neck. Okay, I have a plan. Are you sure the word plan means what you think it does? From what I've seen, it could just as well mean hangover, epileptic fit, or pebble in your shoe. Just trust me, the dolphins absolutely want a target. Presenting <laughs> Ray Coulson, the, in the broadest sense of the term, human target. I take back everything I ever said about you, because you scare me. The stew was terrible. That wasn't stew. That was sealant for Gold's operation. Huh? Well, that's what it tasted like, too. The pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the candle. I mean, melt. Everything okay? And how? This is all so exciting. Hmm. It's almost a pity that it will soon be over. All we have to do is get the hatch open, and then Doc can put you back together. I'm afraid Lady Go won't make it that easy for us. Oh, don't worry. Once I turn on the charm... Oh, yeah. She'll give in. Oh, Rufus. I don't know. Trust me. It'll be child's play. Finally. Next time, you might want to tell me when you're going to switch my mind. I'll try to remember that.
<laughs> this will be fun. Yes? Hello? Hmm, very funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I must definitely do that again right away. <laughs> what? Rufus? Was that you? Rufus! Blasted idiot. Next time, I'll toss him overboard. <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Once again, we're feeling... What? <sighs> Why don't you just cut off the bell? Because I am planning to cut something entirely different off of the immature idiot. That's not a bad idea either. Ow. That is by far the most attractive dent I have ever seen. Yep, that's the perfect subject for a wax impression. Or a larger-than-life statue at the entrance to the harbor. That impression is picture-perfect. No wonder, with such a gorgeous subject. Time for my stunt double, Ray Coulson. Hey, Bozo. Together again at last. Raiding the Seven Seas, just like in the old days. Well, we only met a few days ago. But I already know that all attempts to interrupt you when you're acting like that are futile. So I'll just keep talking like nothing happened and hope you get over it sooner or later. <laughs> Good old bozo. You really haven't changed one bit. No, oh, so far so good. But how can I get in there? Have you tried the hatch? Uh, yes, but maybe I should try it again, just to make sure. Looks like the dolphins don't like me. How oh, odd. They're usually such peaceful animals. Can you please help me lower the dummy? Sure. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really appear to hate you. Yes, but why? It might have something to do with the fact that you transformed their children into canned fish. But that's not true. Oh, I see. You merely helped them jump into the kitchen, where all of a sudden a few cans of tuna appeared. Right? Perhaps Yanosh's mom had to make a little room on her shelf for the aquarium. For the aquarium. Exactly. Because I would never... Whoa! No matter what you did, they are really pissed off. Are you ready for another dive? All right. It's your neck. Left in the lurch, on the verge of the perch, the search for the submerge was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Gold Spins with torpedo dolphins, and finally Hoaglins, I cannot exalt. How extendingly aced, he was dragged to the base, the bell for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent, and if not, I apprehend the chorus guys will have to work overtime. So Oh, <laughs> oh. <coughs> Rufus!
Rufus, just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. While you were out snorkeling, we were kidnapped by Donna Gole in a surprise attack. I can't leave you alone, not even for a moment. She took Gole with her, as well as the remotes and the cartridges. Nonsense. I've got them right here. Uh, oh, crap. There must be a hole in my coat. I keep losing stuff. This time you lost more than usual. Cletus was here. He took both goals with him. They're planning to travel to Porto Fisco in Argus's cruiser. Argus is here too? Well, his cruiser is moored alongside that blast tower over there. Criminy! The blast tower! The rebel attack has already started! But that's suicide! You're right. They're completely lost without me. Oh, Rufus, you really don't know when it's time to give up. Of course I know that. And it starts with N, right? <laughs> What's the situation, Doc? Still hopeless. Fantastic. At least then none of them can escape me. What are those strange cabins over there? Looks like Organon technology. Probably decommissioned goods transporters from the blast tower. Goods transporters from the blast tower? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. That would be utter madness. One little mistake, and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your genes will end up mixed with the vermin that have nested in there. Cool. Listen to me just this once. Using them would be the absolutely stupidest thing you could do. Exactly. Nobody would be expecting it. Unless they know you. Where's Bozo? Down in the cockpit. He's trying to restart the generator. But the current collectors are empty. We'll probably be stuck here for a couple of hours yet. That's too long. You could help him by holding the lamp. It's too narrow down there for me. Hmm. I don't know. Rufus! Rufus! Heroically he held the lamp! It, uh, no, that won't work. I'll find another way. Can you tell what's going on over there? I think the rebels have started to storm the tower. Now I see it too. The tower is already shaking a lot. And I see a swarm of trained fireflies. Um, Rufus, why don't you sit down for a moment? You've been on your feet for a long time. No worries, Doc. I feel becky mecky sucky shucky decky Are you familiar with these matter transporters? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. Why? That would be utter madness. One little mistake, and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your genes will end up mixed with the vermin that have nested in there. So? Nothing that can't be reversed. Who said that? A genetic fusion of that sort is an extremely complex matter. Once two species have crossed their genes, then... And have you gotten any further? It would go faster if you helped. Oh, I can't right now. I'm very close to finding my own way. You don't think much of teamwork, do you? Sure, sure. One for all and, uh, uh whatever you're doing there. I'm going to try something. I would say don't do anything rash. But since you're not listening to me even now, I'll just say, I hate you. I hate you from the bottom of my soul. Thanks, Doc. Good luck to you, too. <laughs> the stupid creature has occupied the matter transporter. But since I've studied the technical literature, I'm not afraid of genetic fusion. A toast to Captain Cockroach. Get out. Now! Uh, why didn't I pack my animal trainer hat? Oh, here's a hatch. Ah, I mean...
Oh, genetic fusion is irreversible. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, how are things at the front? Wolfush! At last! Grab a weapon and help us! We are hopelessly outnumbered! Ah, uh, no. If I get involved, I'll just expose your incompetence. But... You can do it. And I'm not saying that because there is any hope, but to motivate you. That's what you call leadership. Well, how are things at the... F not sure. We are hope... You can do it. <laughs> Frogs are really stupid. Where am I? This almost looks like the lost ending of that game with the squeaky lead. Good thing they took that out. After that ending, nobody would have asked for a sequel. At least, not one as cool as this. At last. I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah, you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned off due to fighting. Do you often have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you. Still, it seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about it? It's Rufus. He's trying to stop me. Rufus? Persistent little fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just just a moment, I left my bag inside. Get on with it! We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm, with your bag or without! Cletus! Here! Huh? Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls! La la la! Could he be fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls. A la la la. No, that can't be what it looks like. This is just what it looks like. I'm really messing with, with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That, that, oh, 
that a boo, that a bee, that a ba, that a bow. Rufus got the groove, yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor! He's actually fiddling with the bomb controls! I've got to stop him! Hey! There's Donna's remote and the two other cartridges. I'll insert one of them. Hmm, unfortunately, Gold's remote is missing. She must still have it on her. Hmm? Oh, hey! Shh, not so loud. Hey! We've got a problem, or, or rather two. And a half. We'll make that three. It's been a while since I counted. What's the matter? You see Cletus back there? He's rather blurry. Something isn't right with my eyes. Oops! Oh! Look, Rufus! I'm Donna! I know. Feed him to the sharks! <laughs> Very nice. Now, can we briefly consider the problem at hand? Sure! Bring it on! Cletus is about to return to Elysium with Lady Goal, and just now I caught him messing with the bomb controls. I think he wants to eliminate the population of Deponia. Then there would be no more reason not to blow the place up. Oh, big time meanie. This is hard to believe. We have to tell Lady Goal about this. She might be a little hard to convince. Actions are better than thoughts. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. And therefore, Cletus is the good guy and Rufus is nothing but a... Uh... Hey, ladies! Rufus, what are you doing here? You missed me, I know. But now's not the time for our big reunification foo Our what? Has Baby Goal explained everything to you? I was going to. But it looks like I got some of it wrong. Lady Girl just explained to me why you cannot be trusted. What? But you were supposed to persuade Lady Goal, not the other way around. Oh, right. That was your plan? I was almost going to say you need to think of something better. But you might take that as encouragement. Well, I do. Please don't fight. Don't worry, baby. Lady Goal is about to see her mistake. Yes, I do see my mistake. The mistake is you. And even Baby Goal isn't quite as naive as you seem to believe. Right. But, hey, look. Did I just see a funny butterfly in there? A butterfly? Whee! You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Girl, but it is not mine. Now listen to me, will you? Why should I? You're not listening to me either. I'm going with Cletus. You should be glad I'm not setting the organ on on you. You have exactly three seconds to get out of here. That is my parting gift to you. But goal! One. I... Two. Cletus is only taking advantage of you, and when you look down on my burning cadaver, you're really going to regret some of the things you just said. There. So there. <laughs> and now? Oh, I'm really getting tired of this stupid implant. Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. Why, that's slimy. And where is Donna Goal? Actually, you are now Donna Goal. Ew. Yeah, Lady Goal has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you can talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I 
damn well saw it! Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? Ha! <laughs> How typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence, also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let me show you how I spell knuckle sandwich. Mm, perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies! There are peaceful ways of settling your differences, like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Ah! Rufus! I might have known you were behind this. You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Girl, but it is not mine. It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You go take care of Cletus. He's a bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? I'll get you for that. Whoa. I suppose they really should discuss that among themselves. How can you carry on such extended conversations with yourself? I find that a bit disturbing. Disturbing. But back to more pressing issues. I must stop Cletus before he... Huh? Cletus? But... Huh? Where did he go? Well then. Let's undo the mess that Creep has caused here. That shouldn't be too complicated. After all, he managed to do it. What? Well, what is this now? A countdown? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop! That was a close one. But if that was the countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy's going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So, who's the loser now, huh? You, of course, as always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Deponians. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas, for now. Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you, or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is gold. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me, I would gladly sacrifice the world just to make a lady smile. The elders will probably blow the place up anyway. I actually even hope so. But by then, it will no longer be my responsibility. And let's be honest, you wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for goal? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm? No cunning plans today? How disappointing. No cunning plans today? Hey, you moron! What are you doing? I'm switching the countdown back on! It's a little shorter this time. Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant! Happy to oblige! Is this the switch? Oopsie! I can be such a klutz sometimes. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you already have to leave. You rotten chunk of sewer slime! What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the controls. You had better pray that this works. That traitor! That traitor! 
I definitely need better ammo to prevent his departure. What are you doing? Leave her alone! Baby go! Now is not a good time! Lady! Lady Gold still has the remote. Cool. You're hurting her. Goal doesn't stand a chance against Lady Goal. Lady Goal still has her remote. So what? Wake up, Goal. I know you love me. What are you doing? Leave her alone. Grab the remote! I'd love to, but I can't do it. She's just too strong. Baby doll! Now is not a good time. Lady! Grab the remote! No! Hey! Got it! Now what? <laughs> Lady Gold still has a remote! Cool! <laughs> Give me another chance! Press the remote! No, you! I Flutterbacks, go for the eyes! <laughs> Got it! Mistake! <laughs> Nice try, dirt ball. One could almost admire your persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life. Without any hope. <laughs>
I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. Too bad that isn't possible, because you've got something that belongs to me. I'm not letting go of this anytime soon. It's the only trump I have in this convoluted game. Couldn't we discuss that after you helped me up? That's Donna in Gold's body! She must be totally confused. Well, even totallyer. For the last time, will you give me that accursed remote? Uh, I know! You need the ascension codes, don't you? What are you getting at, smart ass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about Gaul, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak! Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come! The bomb is ticking! Oopsie-daisy! No! You crack-brained numbnut! <laughs> Goal! Oh, that was just... Wow! Well done! Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him all along. Why did he do that? Eh, doesn't matter now. Help me up! Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to apologize. I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. No? Cletus is the liar, right? Um, well... What is that supposed to mean? Is there something else you want to tell me? There is one thing. What? Well, I must know everything. I know the timing could be better, but I can only trust you again if you tell me everything, and I want to trust you. Well, uh... There is something! Out with it! How can I put this? Just say it! We don't have much time left! Um, well... What is that supposed to mean? Is there something else you want to tell me? There is one thing. What? Well, I must know everything. I know the timing could be better, but I can only trust you again if you tell me everything, and I want to trust you. Cletus didn't lie to you. What are you saying? He didn't start that sequence. I did. You? Does that mean... Cletus hasn't betrayed me after all. I knocked him down for no good reason. In a way, yes. But I'm telling you the truth, so that shows I'm the good guy here, right? No. It only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs> As I said before, you don't even want to win. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far. But eventually, the cards must always be laid on the table. I've got two queens. And you? Are we playing rummy now? Shh! <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again, Rufus. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? Janosch and his resistance fighters will be up here any moment! Those miserable creatures don't make me laugh. I seriously doubt that any of them are still alive. Whoever concocted this attack must be completely retarded. The whole action is so stupid. I can hardly imagine you didn't have something to do with it. Hey, uh, okay, change the subject. Goal won't let that happen. Tell him, Goal. I'm sorry, Rufus. Me too. It must have been very difficult for you to show me your true face. He did that? I see now who you are. 
very brave. But it isn't enough. Unfortunately. You've disappointed me once too often. You heard the girls. Game over. <laughs> you think this is a game? This is about an entire planet full of innocent people. Oh, that's enough of your pseudo-moral nonsense. For you, this was never about the people. This was about you getting the girl. So, my friend, what is the difference between you and me? Maybe the fact that I'm not an arrogant snot? Precisely. You are the filthy underdog. The outsider from the underclasses. But only as long as you always lose. You can't win without becoming exactly like me. No more than you can live on Elysium without destroying Deponia. There is no scenario in which you win. This isn't the end, you know. Oh, I see. You're hoping for a third act. The hero dashes onto the runway, knocks on the window of the high boat. There's only one catch, Rufus. You are not a hero. You are a tragic comic clown. And this is not a romantic comedy. This is some sort of self-reflective independent crap in which there are no answers at the end. No happy ending. Only a good look at an ugly reflection, which then blabs the subtext as well. Chaos cannot win when the goal is order! <laughs> Something like that. I've still got the other remote! You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over, and the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. <laughs> Her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. More than enough gold for a modest man like me. All you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but gold's mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? <laughs> At least I'm honest. You like that about me, don't you? Yes. Y yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Gaul! Without it, you'll never be complete! So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals. And the ascension codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! It all belongs together! Wait! I... Oh, oh. This is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! They've stopped shooting. Oh, at last. Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. Rufus, listen up, everybody. It's Rufus. Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we are alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Goal! Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Girl would surely have found a more dramatic solution. But I found myself cool enough, and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which, we mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? Aren't you going to miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here.
She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. August plan went awry, and then of the story. You have to admit, you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones, and platypuses and memberships to opposing underground organizations, so do unpack the bag. Now it's anyway way too late to sack me, and secondly, where am I gonna stay? Huzzah, let's hope far away.